go to check my bank account. You wouldn't even believe my bank amount. I can count up the whole goddamn amount. I made it. And sometimes I forget I'm famous, just like I am Amos. Yeah. And I can turn your bitch around and fuck her in her anus. And I just let her spread yeah. up for some entertainment. Won my first Grammy, put my ops in the pavement. I told my ghetto bitch to shut the fuck up. Hey. I like tough love. Hey. I know they don't trust us. I just put it in the mouth, she need a touch up. Need a touch up. And my lifestyle temper Peter need a rough up. A I walk in the fucking meeting, all you starstruck. Been blessed to see it, give you good luck. My cousins say that I'm a menace to society. When I fuck a famous bitch, I do it quietly. All my niggas quick to judge, I know they tire me. Toxic bitch won't let me leave, something up her sleeve. She know what I bleed, she know my ID. I sent her to Maldives just so I could breathe. Uh, came out kicking in October. Last time I checked, the energy yeah. Parlor. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? If y'all can hear me, give me a W in chat, bro. Yeah, BBG Boober Game, what's up? Y'all can hear me, give me a W. JCW, thank you for that sub. I appreciate you, man. Alerts is off for some reason. Um, then I mean I had some shit to do if I cancel. Bet. Um. If you in here, make yourself known. Let's do roll call real quick, bro. Let's do roll call, bro. Thank you for that gifted. I see you. Ali was good. Drinker was good. Ryan, thank you for that gifted. Thank you for that hype train, too. I appreciate y'all, bro. Um, Ali was good. Doge was good. Gasly was good. One Love was good. Sands was good. JCW was good. Sonic was good. Coke Plays was good. MBT was good. Princess was good. Sports, what's up? Um, uh, Fireboy was good. Um, MXG was good. Uh, Monkey was good. Sands was good. Random was good, Deadly was good, Aura was good, NS Groot, thank you for that sub. Or uh, you did not give me sub, that was Aura Drags. NS Groot, what's up, man? Kings was good, 64 was good, Cool was good, Troll was good, Sports was good, D was good, Four was good, JJ was good, Wolf was good, um, Ren was good, thank you for that 100 bits, um, Ali was good, um, Always Bio was good, Chicken, what's up? Um, hold on real quick, hold on, hold on real quick, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. WSGGGG. Hold on. Hold on. Um, average was good. CJ was good. Um, PR Nightmare was good. Um, Isaiah was good. Um, Malachi was good. Jay, that's what's up. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Oscar was good. Kip was good. Maya was good. Haunted was good. Kenny was good. Carpet was good. Queen Pisces was good. Was good with all y'all boys. I would say hi to all y'all. What if I could, but I ain't because I can't. Um, how's our day going, bro? Talk to me. This nigga just sent me a fucking ink can. What the? Okay, look, 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 look. This nigga just sent me a fucking curse technique in the fucking donuts. What does this even mean, bro? Um, how's our day going, though, bro? Talk to me. Been all right. Good. Terrible. NYC Spring Break. How the fuck? You have to be captain. I don't believe that there's still um spring break type shit. MXG, thank you, bro. Um, horrible day. I wasn't expecting you to do a late night stream, bro. So look, this is. Oh, by the way, let me talk to y'all about what we're about to go ahead and do today. Like, what, what, like, what are are these Egyptian hieroglyphics? What the fuck are these, bro? What is this, bro? Yo, um, hold on. Fr. It doesn't even say the symbols. It just says fr. That's all the fuck. That's all the fucking says, bro. Okay. Well, um, the reason why we are gathered here tonight for a late night stream is that low key it was supposed to start at um nine thirty, but let's go ahead and take you on a little story time today, bro. Um, and I'm not even gonna cap to you, bro. I never, ever, 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 ever want to hear y'all niggas say in life that I don't fuck with y'all, bro. I never want to hear, oh, Blue Rod don't really fuck with us. Blue Rod, da 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 It's 11.08. I hear some of y'all talking about something, bro. I got work at 10 a.m., 9 a.m., nigga. The stream is optional, my nigga. Go home, nigga. Oh, my God, Blue Rod, I have my, my cousin's grandma's funeral tomorrow, nigga. Then go to sleep. What the fuck, nigga? Why lie you? Like, what, like nigga, go to sleep, my nigga. Um... 
You called me out. Nigga told us I got work at 10 a.m. Nigga, go home. Nigga, like, what the fuck? Like, y'all niggas can click out and stream whatever niggas got to, bro. But, can we do my 2000 TV? Uh, not tonight. Not tonight. We got a lot to do today for sure, though. But, peep game, right? So, um, I, I'm not going to cap. I just got back to the basement because, um, today I went out with Lana. I had to take Lana somewhere and, um, I had to take her out. And then I had to drop Lana off. I came back to the house. And once I came back to the house, I was going to go ahead. I set up. I brought all this. All my setup. I brought it to the fucking house. So I was literally at the house. My house. An hour ago. An hour and an hour and a half ago. So I take all my setup. I put all my setup up and shit like that. I'm like, okay, bet. We're starting stream at 930. Let's go ahead and start a stream, bro. But remember I told y'all that my uh, sisters. Did we ask, nigga? Did I ask, nigga? Go ahead and take that nigga in the 600 row, my nigga. We see you in 600 seconds, nigga. It's a good thing you ain't asked, nigga. Because I ain't asked either, nigga. 600 seconds, my nigga. But regardless, um... We go. We went. Um, I went to the fucking house. I set up the entire setup, and um, because it's my sister's gender reveal party tomorrow, everybody's in the fucking house, bro. Yeah, Every sure single per. Or I finna crash out. Till this will sell out. Sala did not say that. Sala has never said that, bro. Um, so everybody's in the house. There's there was children in the house, bro, and they're watching the fucking minions on the TV, bro. Three of my cousins came by, and I was like, okay, bet. I don't like having loud surroundings in the fucking joint because I don't know what it is with y'all niggas, bro. But if y'all even hear a sound outside the room, y'all be like, who the fuck is that? Who is that? I don't know. Maybe y'all niggas got like Miles PTSD or something. But if y'all niggas even hear a sound outside the room, like y'all niggas would get like triggered, bro. And I I'm not going to lie. I'll low-key get triggered too if there's like a lot going on outside. It throws off my focus and I feel like I can't really like focus too much like that. You feel me? Um... God, like, nigga, y'all know I know that tomorrow's teaching video came out. It's not like, oh, yo, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Before I finish what I'm about to say, like, nigga, before y'all tell me about the tomorrow's teaching video, nigga, if that wasn't apparent enough that tomorrow's teaching video came out, all y'all niggas made it very fucking apparent, my nigga. It's not like 20 y'all niggas already recommended me to, uh, to it. One of y'all niggas emailed me about it. 50 of y'all niggas, like, DM me about it. Yes, I know it's out, my nigga. Like, holy shit, I know it's out, bro. I know, I know that tomorrow's teaching video is up, bro. Okay, we're gonna watch it today. We will watch it today, bro. We're gonna watch it today. Um, so, regardless, what I was talking about, so I, so there's a lot going on in the surroundings, and I was like, okay, bet it's gonna be like a little bit going on in the back, but I'll just tell them that. But then niggas came in, motherfuckers. I was outside, bro. I mean, I was outside the door, and then motherfuckers talking about some. Oh, it's too quiet in here. Let's turn on music, bro. And I was just, I was just like, I was just looking, bro. I was just like. So y'all niggas just gonna turn on music, bro. Y'all just gonna y'all just gonna turn on music, bro. So now on top of the on top of the minions, on top of everybody talking about, mind you, not everybody's even here tonight. You feel me? So I know it's I knew it was gonna get louder, bro. So um and mind you, I'm not gonna hold you tight. I ain't gonna cap. I didn't even eat today. Um I, I feel like I was driving all fucking day. I didn't even get a chance to eat today. I really didn't get a chance to do anything today like you know what i'm saying i just posted a youtube video because i just got back but then i just sat down bro it was, it was like 9 20 bro and i was like bro what do i what the fuck do i do my nigga because if i stream right now i'm gonna be pissed off because niggas in the back are gonna be yelling and playing fucking i don't know like uh sexy red and shit like that bro um so i literally sat down and mind you my house is like like an hour and a half two hours away like i you know what i'm saying my shit like is not close so i was like bro I don't want to be right here. So I took, so then I took down the entire fucking setup, like my monitors, my camera, the stream deck, the mon, the, everything. I took down the entire setup. Mind you, I just literally got to the house and put that shit up. I took down the entire setup and drove all the way back to the fucking basement, which is why I told y'all the stream would be at 11 and not when it was supposed to be at 930. I drove all the way back to the basement because it was either that or I wasn't streaming, my nigga. Watch your tongue blue. Calypso. Or I have Invisalign right now, and I'm, I'm tweaking right now. But it was either that, or it was no fucking stream tonight. So I really sat there, bro. I was like, bro, what am I going to do, bro? And I was, and it was, it was one of two options, bro. And I decided to stream tonight. So yeah, I'm back here. So for any of y'all talking about some, oh my god, uh, 11 p.m., 11 p.m., nigga, you can always go to fuck home, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You be good, you be good, bro. Um, so don't say I don't ever fuck with y'all niggas, bro. Cause I really just said, I really just could have said fuck it and then not stream. Cause I know I'm not streaming tomorrow because it's the gender reveal. So I wanted to stream tonight. Cause if I didn't stream today, the next stream would have been on Sunday. You feel me? 
Um, we're gonna have a, a, a calm little cool little stream though. We're gonna have a cool little stream for Soto, bro. We're gonna have a, a, a fire, fire, fire little stream though, bro. Um, now, tomorrow's teachings, I know it came out. It's not like nobody told me. I know it came out, so we're doing bingo for it tonight. Um, we got criminal games starting off. We got some reactions to get through. We got reels today as well. Um, I wanted to do Suno Aux, but I think we're gonna save that for Sunday. So Sunday we'll do Suno AI Aux. Um, so we're looking at a calm little three hour tonight. But um, anything interesting happening? Y'all niggas talk to me, bro. What the fuck happened to y'all, bro? What, what's going on with y'all, bro? How's y'all day going, bro? We're about, oh, I'm gonna the fuck up. We're about to go ahead and get started on news. I got prom tomorrow. Oh shit! Chat, how many y'all going to prom, bro? How was your day ride? Not good. Um, not happen. Uh, Philadelphia Expo. Just went to a music school. Three fights happened in my school. Did you record it? Y'all always talking about some. Oh, they was fighting at my school. They was fighting at my school, bro. I'm like, did y'all, y'all motherfuckers record it, bro? We wanna, I wanna see, I wanna see the fucking fight, bro. And you, it better not be one of those fights where motherfuckers can't record, bro. It better be some, some real high quality type fights, bro. Um, but okay, if y'all ready for news though. Hopefully this stream will make me feel, you know what I'm saying, good. Also, I wanted to stream today, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you want to stream, bro, it's not like I, I be like, damn, fuck it, no stream. I be wanting to stream, so. Um, if you're already for news, let me go ahead and get a, a W in chat, bro. My cat brought in a live bunny and it was running around the house. That's what uh, Anubis did once. Anubis brought in, um, I, like, a raccoon or some shit like that. I might even go and cap to you, bro. Um, all right, news. Much love to these people, Nico, Jade. Sonic, Galactic, Gabby, Myra, Havoc, and Raya, and all of BBG. I'm not gonna lie, sending a dono just to dick ride multiple niggas is actually insane. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. News! Let's go ahead and see what the fuck's going on in news today, bruh. Dramler Nation, I'm your host Keller. Come say, let's get right into the news. Now, we have a lot of stories to cover tonight. Actually, we don't have a lot of stories to cover tonight, but we do have a, full, uh, a few important stories that we're gonna wanna go over um, tonight. So lock in real quick. For our first story today, today, today. Now, we reported before that Tesla's uh, new cyber trucks were malfunctioning across the United States. Now, Tesla is recalling almost 4K cyber trucks that it has shipped to date due to a problem where the accelerator pedal can get stuck, putting drivers at risk of a crash. So, if you or a loved one have a cyber truck, which I knew like at least like 20 of y'all do have a cyber truck, you may want to go ahead and um, get that joint recall. You feel me? Uh, Rage gonna be mad? No, Rage gonna be mad as fuck, bro. Music loud as shit. Rage is gonna be mad as shit, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. Rage, this guy hit cyber truck. He's gonna be so fucking sick. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. Um, but yeah, that's it for the uh, Tesla story. Hopefully, Tesla can fucking tee up and not lose too many, too much money from that shit. For our next story today, 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 NBA Young Boy. We reported that NBA Young Boy got arrested for like 63 different charges. Now it is coming out that NBA Young Boy reportedly refused to give Fez the passcode to his phone after they arrested him. He said, take it and break it. That's what uh, NBA Youngboy said. Whatever was on his phone was some very, very illegal act. So he needed it to be broken immediately. I'm not even going to cap to you. So um, shout out to uh, Youngboy for so for uh, incriminating himself for uh, some, some more um, bullshit type shit. For our next, next, next story today, today, today. Um... 
Reporter facing backlash after asking creepy question to Caitlin Clark. Let me see. Hi, Caitlin. Uh, Greg My left ear loves this video. Real quick, oh, let me do this. How creepy? You like you like that? I like that you're here. I like yeah, that you're here. I, I do that at my family after every game, so. Okay, well, let's cool. start doing it to me and we'll be able to get along just fine. So, question is. What the fuck happened in. I'm, I'm confused. I'm more confused on what the fuck they were even talking about to really get there. What the fuck was being talked about? Like, I feel like there's a little bit more, like, context that I'm missing here. What the fuck was being talked about? Wait, hold on. Today, in my uniquely oafish way while welcoming Kaylin Clark to Indy, I formed my hands into her signature. My comment afterwards was clumsy and awkward. I sincerely apologize. Please know my heart. Oh, uh, he apologized, chat. Uh, that was some some very very odd 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 ass shit. I ain't gonna cap to you, but hey, shout out to uh, Caitlin Clark and them for our next next uh, next story today. Today, hold on, I gotta reset this. Next story today 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 we have um Pepsi. Pepsi is forced to recall all sugar free ginger ale that was accidentally packed with sugar so if you do have um any type of pepsi ginger ale any type of pepsi products that are zero sugar where by the way why are you drinking zero sugar products in 2024 why are you drinking any any like sugar-free products like at all why are you doing that i, I don't i don't i don't get it why some y'all niggas is drinking su like sugar-free soda in general my nigga um it adds flavor just get the regular or he said also I flavor. I don't know what the fuck that means. For my tea. Sugar free is worse than normal soda. I mean at that point you should just drink water, no? Y'all don't drink uh water only. I don't fucking drink water only, but it's just like what's the fucking point? You might as well get like carbonated water at that point. If you just like the fucking like feeling and how it feels, just get fucking carbonated water or some shit like that, bro. Um for our next 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 story today 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 green text on iphones they're ruining relationships senator elizabeth warren calls out apple over non-iphone users feeling excluded now look i know there's a lot of people in here a lot of people in here who have an android if you have an android let me know let me know if you have an android just be honest now do you feel excluded when you have to text somebody with an iphone let me know let me know i ain't gonna cap i will never forget this chat a girl once told me that the guy could be so perfect and shit like that, but if she if the guy texts him and then her mess the messages is green, then she gonna look at bro a little sideways. And I always felt like that was a little crazy, but there is a green message bias that's out there. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's kind of it's kind of tough. Was she chopped? Nah, she looks she looks solid. She looks solid. She looks my type type shit, but she she looks solid, bro. My shit prepaid. Okay, prepaid in twenty twenty four is actually fucking insane. Get Telegram. There's no shame in having an iPhone, so I own up. Right, it's, it's okay at this point, bro. As long as you don't have a Nokia, then it is what it is, bro. Don't feel too bad, bro. Um, For our next, next, next story today, today, today. Drake officially has released push-ups everywhere to diss track aimed at Kendrick Lamar officially. Did you guys feel this diss track? Was it fire? Was it ass? Let me know what you're thinking about this diss track in the comments down below our next story we have a group of car thieves known as the kia boys revealed they sell their stolen kias for 50 to 100 this typo is this a typo 50 to that gotta be a fucking typo, no? Niggas are selling, they steal the car. That gotta be a typo. Surely it's a typo, right? So niggas is stealing cars. They're stealing, going through all the trouble of stealing fucking Kias. Wait, what? And then they sell it for 50 and 100? So we can, so somebody can fucking get a, they, nigga, they must steal all the fucking parts or something. That Kia must be butt-ass naked. That Kia has to, 
That Kia has to be butt ass naked, bro. There's no fucking way. Hold on. Is this? Hold on. I'm not gonna hold you. Channel five. Channel five Kia boys. Bruh, I'm not even gonna hold you. This Kia Boys video is 44 minutes. I'm not peeping this shit right now, but I might have to watch this shit. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. Because there's just no way niggas is this sped in selling cars for 50 to to $100. There's gotta be some kind of catch, bro. So at some point, somebody remind me to watch that shit. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. Um, For our next, next, next story. Today, today, today. Moist Critical calls out alpha male dating coach who charges 3K for advice. Nigga, in life, if you are paying for somebody to give you advice, that's like, I might ain't gonna cap to you, bro. That's one of the worst things to do. Especially three fucking K, chat. Look, take my advice, my nigga. If you have to ever pay somebody money to advise you, bro, shit probably not worth it. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Because I guarantee the advice, what do you think the advice gonna be? Oh, um, da 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 Like, niggas just gonna tell you, like, uh, when people get killed, they die. Like, nigga, they're going to say, like, the same thing that anybody would fucking tell you, bro. So why would, why would you fucking ever get advice and pay for it at 3K at that? That shit don't make no sense, bro. For our next, next, next story, today, 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 um... Wendy's is giving away free fries every Friday through the end of this year. So, if you're ever feeling hungry and you need to go to Wendy's, bro, go ahead and copy some free fries, bro. Now, McDonald's fries are better, but I will never, ever, 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 ever um, deny taking some fucking uh, Wendy's fries. I ain't gonna lie. For our last story, this is, like, really, really good news, bro. This is, like, hold on. I gotta turn the music off for this one, bro. This is really, really, really good news. So, Elon Musk has come out and said something that actually makes niggas happy, bro. Any accounts doing engagement farming will be suspended and traced to the source. That means all porn bots, all of these mean pages who are doing this, I need these niggas out, bro. Please don't let this be cat, bro. Please don't let this be cat, bro. You can't even look on no type of mean pages Without it, bro, chat, have y'all ever just looked at a regular ass post, like some regular type shit, and then scroll down and there's porn below? It's always the meme pages and the OF thoughts. You just, you cannot scroll down. You can be some regular ass shit. This in, in News 10, um, Donald Trump just fucking fell down a well with his butt cheeks out. And then you're just going to go see what the fuck happened in the story and seeing what everybody else is saying. You scroll past and there's a bitch showing her whole pussy. Literally in the comments, bro. I'm tired. Like at this point, I'm tired of seeing it. No, not and that sounds that sounds super crazy, but it's getting to the point where sometimes, bro, we just want to see some regular ass shit, bro. So please, why y'all putting question marks? So please, 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 Elon, fix that shit immediately. Please do not cap to us. Please do not lie to us, please, bro. Um, now for our weather and traffic report today, 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 this weekend is going to be looking very sunny, very sunny, partly uh, cloudy skies. Um, it is going to be very windy if you're on the West Coast. It is expected to rain this weekend, so do keep it in mind that it could potentially rain this weekend. Um, however, I would um, refrain from wearing any coats or heavy clothes because it is very humid outside. It is very windy. Also, cicada season is happening. So when you see niggas coming out and cicadas just like making a lot of noise, know that cicadas are fucking the entirety of spring and summer. So get ready to be annoyed going forward what is cicadas you ever watch an anime and then you hear, just hear some loud ass bugs that's them that's them hold on i, I got y'all i got y'all bro trust 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 i got y'all i got y'all bro hold on yo that was not loud for y'all. It's gonna seem like I was overreacting, but that was the loudest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life, bro. It's hiding. They find Mm-hmm. Come on, quit hiding. I'm not gonna hurt you. I hate that fucking sound, bro. I hate that fucking sound, bro. I only been played it because y'all told me to play it. I ain't gonna catch you, but like, shit, I fucking, I actually dead ass like fucking hate that sound. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. 
Um, and now for traffic. Traffic is going to be crazy this weekend. Is expected to be a full uh, traffic um, situation going on now. We're going to go ahead and take it to Florida regarding traffic. Now, Florida regarding traffic. There is supposed to be a mega tsunami, earthquake, monsoon, tornado, and there is 50 Florida men in monster trucks trying to challenge this weather phenomenon uh, coming in tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get back to you on how they're doing. Hopefully, they're still alive by the end of that. But uh, we're just letting you know, and we'll catch you up to the story once it takes place. So, yeah, I'm Kevin Cumps saying signing out. Y'all have a great rest of y'all night. I'm out. All right, man. Um, so it's not chilly in here. Where's my fucking? Where's my jacket at, bro? We're gonna do criminal game, bro. So y'all know, go get predicts up. Somebody requested a freestyle though, so we do that first. Um, we're gonna let's go ahead and fucking do criminal game. Also, um, what did you do while waiting for Keller today? Just curious. Nigga, I just walked out. Fucking ate a cookie or two. Came the fuck back in. Um, it's pre zero out of five. It's not gonna be zero out of five. Also. I told y'all I went back home a little bit, like, a couple hours ago. Um, the Timu packages, um, a lot of the Timu packages are there. Not the, all of it, but a lot of the Timu packages are there. So, I'm not going to lie. I definitely accidentally opened it. I didn't open to see what was in it, but I opened it, and then it said Timu in there, so I just closed it back up. So, um, Timu unboxing will be probably within this next week. Probably within this next week, the Timu boxes will, will be in, bro. Um... All right, let's go ahead and do this this freestyle real quick. This nigga said a Tom and Jerry, uh, Detroit type beat, and then we'll go ahead and do um, fucking criminal game. Tom and Jerry, Detroit type beat. I don't think that exists. What? Okay. Fuck, okay, ha, uh, shit, 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 damn, shit, shit, ha, uh, shit, shit, shit. Walked up the street, I'm a new boss, shit. I look like Rick Ross, damn, and I'm gonna shop at Ross, shit. I don't care what it fucking costs, damn, shit. Yeah, that bitch light, I can build a bitch just like it's Fortnite, huh? And I'm going hype, shit. I fucked the bitch, but I said psych, damn. Billy and Mandy, I remember stealing fucking candy, damn, and Big Dig Randy, you know I keep it handy, damn, but no I'm not Manny, no I'm not Mandy, I keep it handy, I keep it Randy, damn, I was fucking some cheeks, I think her name's Sandy, I think her name's Sandy, I think her name's Katie, I'm fucking a bitch, a lady, a lady, a woman, I do it, I does it, I does it, I go, I'm running the stove, I'm cooking the stove, I drove, shit, this beat, I'm twerking, I'm working, I'm certain, for certain, I do it, for certain, my penis is hurting, I do it, for certain, damn, I remember I was back in the street and I was jerking, alright, there we go, um, alright, let's go ahead and uh, do criminal game, bro, criminal game, Let's go ahead and start. This dude can't rap to us like what you thought all black people can rap. Is that what you thought? You thought all black people can rap or something? Fuck, like nigga said, yes, yes, yes. Well, you guys are fucking wrong. Don't believe stereotypes. How about that, bro? Don't believe fucking stereotypes. You can't? No. Like, don't fucking believe stereotypes. Right, explain this freestyle while we're here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass. I already know some bullshit, bro. Okay. Let's go ahead, uh, let's go ahead and do this shit, bro. This is what we got right now. Talk to me. With my trivia, you can go ahead and refund his trivia. This nigga don't even look like a real fucking person, bro. This nigga don't even look like a fucking real person. Um, okay, is this... What is this? Weapons? Okay, it's Master Weapons. Nigga. 
Who the fuck? Who the fuck beat somebody ass with a fucking bird cage, bro? Who beat? Okay, all right. We have a bird cage, a ring, a wine bottle. This nigga look animated. A cat litter, a cat litter box. It was her. Just letting that be known. And a fly swatter. I don't know how the fuck you get beat with a fly swatter. Like fight back, nigga. Um. Okay. So beating somebody with a ring is crazy, by the way. Um, ring is probably gonna be him. Just trust. Um, chat. Also, it's pretty two out of five or three out of five. I just gotta make sure. Um, birdcage is him. You know what I'm saying? This nigga look like he on full house, so I could tell he would just do some shit like this. Um, wine bottle was mo. It was two. Okay, this is gonna be easy. That's two out of five. Easy, right? Yes. Hold on. All right, I'm back. What happened? Uh, yeah, my bad. Uh, I I don't I don't know what happened on, on that one. Um, but yeah, somebody had called me, so I, I had I just had to like leave real quick. Tell you shit. Um, are you dead? I got zero out of five. I got one out of five actually. I got one out of five. Let's get it correct. If we're gonna do this shit, let's get it fucking correct. And I only did that because it's the first one. You know what I'm saying? So this one we're gonna do a lot better. Trust, 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 trust. So if you didn't vote for me, bro, you gotta vote for me, bro. Trust. I got you, bro. Trust. I will, I'm not gonna let y'all down, bro. What's the difference? Nigga, one's better than none. Look at this, bro. Animal cruelty. This nigga look like he, uh, like, fucking Super Saiyan 3 him fucking self. Animal cruelty will go him. Battery on a pregnant woman was definitely, it was 100% this nigga. 100% it was this dude, bro. 1000% it was this dude. Manslaughter was definitely her domestic assault was her poor when it's saggy on fence this nigga looked like he fucking got hit by a fucking blow dryer um cruelty to the infirm give me that Yo, whoa, 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 why why'd y'all pay it out, bro? L scam go down. Okay, but I got you. I can I can go down. Alright. I'm going down. Inspect element. I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck that is, bro. Why did it say oops? Where? Oh, cause it says oops. Because like it was like oops, like we thought you was gonna get a two out of five, but you really got a five out of five. So it just had to say oops because it didn't expect that. Cause I, I just finessed like the system type shit. I'm just really just. Can we just move on to the fucking next one, bro? Like, okay, let's just move on to the next one, bro. All right. Um, this bitch been look maxing a fucking ton. She's been look maxing at least for a fucking decade. Um, she looks like she eats baby sea turtles. She looks like fucking uh kung fu panda. This bitch look like she painted on. She been, no. I'm not going to have look matches of the hell. Bitch been viewing a fucking storm up, bro. Give me, um, what is bigamy? What is, what is bigamy? Anybody know what that is? When it, it's when you're big. I like I I want to say oh two husbands and wives oh okay let's go ahead and take that out let's say because just big of me I would have assumed it was something else I'm not even you big Amy okay um we're gonna give that to her we're gonna get that to her Google it somebody somebody already told me what the fuck that is bro he said marrying another uh person um who's while well, already married oh okay 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 makes sense the frauding an innkeeper nigga the fuck is an innkeeper is this the fucking 1800s this the Middle Ages bro. Um, get that to her prostitution. Look, I want to say her right here. I want to say her right here. 
But, 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 that's the safe option. Nobody expects it to be shorty right here. So I'm going her. Trust. Arm robbery, I'm going to give it to her. Battery on or officer, I'm going to give it to her. Talk to me. Wow, she was actually the fucking... Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. She was crazy. Oh, my fucking God. This shit is going fucking horrible, bro. Bro. Any other time, bro? Can y'all really fucking blame me, bro? Any other time, the obvious answer is always the least suspecting person. Every single time. But the one time I try to outsmart the fucking system, they're like, nope, it's, it's, it's actually this person right here, bro. I never should have believed you, bro. It's not. You can't get to. You deserve an award for being so bad. You know, the funny thing is, anytime that I've asked y'all to do this, y'all always, y'all never, ever, ever get above a two or a three. Y'all niggas always get ones and zeros. But let it be me. It's just a whole bunch of dick riding, bro. But it's okay. It's okay. Vote against me this Vote against me this round right now. Vote against me. See right now? Vote against me then. Let me do it. Fuck no. Watch this. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, I guess we got. No vote yes, like this dude didn't get a zero or one out of five for the past few times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who? Okay, who the fuck said that dick riding ass? Uh, don't know, bro. Who was that? Yo, who the who the fuck was that, bro? You lucky I don't see you just sat around. Stop that dick riding, bro. Um. Okay. Model. I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Shorty right here. Bank. Oh wait, but it's the crime and the, th these niggas making this shit hard. What is a grout cleaner? Stripper. I'm gonna give it to her. Um, go with your gut. Architect. I'm gonna give it to her. Who wait? Who looks faded? DUI. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm still go her. I'm gonna still go her. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, model. I'ma go her bank loan officer. I'ma go her grout cleaner. Give me that. Oh no 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 no! Give me this. Yeah okay. I take that. I, I accidentally low key fucked up by switching these two, but shit, I take it. I take it. Give it to me, my nigga. I take that shit. That's easy right there. See chat. I told y'all. All y'all gotta do is just believe in it, nigga. That's all. That's all niggas gotta do. But niggas don't ever wanna do it, bro. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it, bro. Hacks? Why would I hack for? Fuck, I clicked the wrong one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, buddy, right, buddy, right, buddy, right, buddy. Fucking pigs can fly, my nigga. Um, okay, let's do two more rounds of this. Let's do two more rounds of this, bro. Um, I know we got this one before, so let's do a different one. Uh -oh. Okay. This one right here. Is this a chat? What is this? First two fifths W right. What is this? Like, is this like? I'm not trying to be disrespectful to, to nobody. So, but like, what what is what is that? I'm 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 like a little confused. I'm, this is why I'm trying to ask. Um, second looks like an actor from Tomorrow's Teaching. Zed ass. I'm not even gonna cap to you, bro. Go all in. Trash. Public nudity. Prostitution. Cocaine. Cocaine is her, obviously. Public nudity. Probably her. Battery on a police officer. Probably him. Sheltering. Sheltering. Unmarried minors. Nah. Prostitution. Okay, hold on. Let me give her prostitution. Let me give her that. And then let me give her this. Talk to me. I just want to talk about a chick. Made a call to take about a vet. Savage still popping them set. We were talking 10 for a verse. And I want 10 for a verse. I had this one before. If I did that, it actually makes it even worse. I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I don't go to church. I curse. Small. I ain't trying to kiss that bitch, little bitch. I'm a nigga, what's, what's wrong with this nigga? This, am I ain't gonna catch you, nigga? You know, in like create a uh, character games when you're fucking creating your main fucking character and you just minimize all the fucking like features on the nigga. What's what's good with what's good with this nigga? Your headphones, okay, bet. Um, what's what's good with bro right here? Me character, nigga, minimize all the features on this nigga. Okay, I'm assuming this is weapons that was uh attacked towards a nigga. This nigga looks so interesting. Like he looked like very easy to draw. Um. This nigga look familiar for some reason. This lady done been through it all. I ain't gonna hold. Um, okay, so this weapon hatchet, I'm gonna give to him. 
um, a pen. I'm gonna give it to her. Screwdriver is gonna be him. That nigga look like MGK. Give me this. Give me that. Talk to me. Don't pay that out. 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 Don't pay that. I said don't pay that out. I said don't pay that out. What the fuck? Too late, nigga. I said it almost immediately. What the fuck? How are you all doing, BBG? I hope you guys are having a great night. BTW Raya, you suck at this. Fire. Fuck you, nigga. Fire. Fire. I said I not, I didn't even say that. I said it a second after what happened, bro. Oops, my fingers slipped. Fuck you, nigga. Get me off this bullshit ass website, bro. Get me off this bullshit ass website. All right, we got reels, bro. After reels, we got tomorrow's teachings. Um, let's do some reels. Let's do some reels. Oh, by the way, any music drop? Any music drop, chat? That we that uh, niggas need to know about? Any music drop? Ye. Ye, ye, ye did not drop. Did Yeet really drop? Why is everybody saying Yeet? Yeet. Nigga, Yeet did not. I would have I would have heard about it if Yeet dropped. Wait. Did he really drop? That nigga really dropped. Is this the song? Tupac did not drop. Is this it? Heli, Heli Man, is it? Man, I thought y'all niggas was capping. My Frank Ocean did not drop. I fuck with this shit. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I fuck with this shit, bro. I fuck. Yeah, I, I fuck with this. This 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 to tell you each shit. Like I ain't gonna count. I fuck with this. Two by two. Uh, I didn't need no reason. Try to understand. That's your first mistake, my nigga. Don't try to understand, bro. That's your first mistake. When you try to understand, bro, some y'all niggas be trying to listen to niggas like Cardi and and be like, okay, guys, I'm gonna try to listen for the lyrics. Why the fuck are you trying to listen for lyrics in a Cardi or Yee song? That's why Stevie Wonder trying to take an eye doctor test, my nigga. What do you hope to gain out that shit? Pull up, dude. They say they won't chop like good shit. Then not no head. Here we get your ex stock on the cross. Not no real. Some of us outside, we all big trucks and big guns. They ask where I came from. I'm the holy one. Put it on the sun. Put it on the moon. Tell me what the fuck you do before you gonna do it. Tell me how the fuck I look before you ever sue it. I Maybe he is off. I don't ever sue it. You outside to get rolled up. We on the side. You that side. You that side all again. I got the front door locked. You ain't coming in. Bad at the bed on the week. Bad at the bed. I can't sleep. Y'all niggas just saying anybody. Niggas says smiley. Why do I, why would I ever check in the smiley, nigga? I'd rather watch, uh, listen to the that new speaker knocker shit that just dropped. Why would I ever go ahead and check out smiley in life? Why would I do that? Stop saying I just real. Stop saying you so real. Stop saying you give money. Yeah. You ain't never seen no bill. Uh, you say you kill everybody. You ain't never seen no kill. Uh, I like being on private shit. Cause I don't need a life for real. Can we send a sad way? Can we send a sad way? Got two M's, I'm like, eats again. I've been on these lights 
again. They might as well call me Helly, man. They say I do different. They just they try say ain't hell again. They say I do different. I got two free stuff like everywhere. He didn't see my side. He didn't see my side. He didn't see my shoe. He didn't see my view. I pull it two by two. Huh? I pull it two by two. Huh? This is a good song, Mike. Gonna hold you, bro. This is a good song. I fuck with this. Uh, 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 Joint could have been a little shorter, but I still fuck with it. This, this is a good song. Okay. All right. Um, that was a that was that was a good song. Uh, why did nigga didn't drop it on uh or did he drop it on Apple Music and shit? Nigga said that shit was only on SoundCloud. I fuck with that. Drake dropped on IG. Cap. Cap. Y'all niggas said Baby Kia dropped too. Baby Kia. This one right here. Yeah, I was just listening to it at that time. I was like, I'm powerful. I'm running, baby. 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 God, Who let this nigga in the city, bro? Boom, flow. Boom, 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 flow. Yeah. Pay bro to taste some Ben I run. Told her we don't bullshit. Kill your soul. Snatch up your son. BK sight. I'm in Times Square with that stick. They want hanging off the mall. Pat 50 round plus 26. Great book. Ali Harwood. Come here. Yo, what the fuck? Niggas, this nigga in Manhattan too, bro. I was in this exact same fucking area, bro. That shit scares me. This nigga probably put a domain expansion across the entire fucking city of Manhattan, my nigga. I'm in Times Square with that stick. They want hanging off the moped. 50 round plus 26. Yeah. Portiano holding on the V12. It's a big body. Black on stick inside this Chevy box. I feel Yo, like I'm not even lying. The thing is, bro, I'm kind of feeling the song, bro, but I'm actually, every time I listen to this nigga, I just get scared. I just get a little scared, bro. I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I just get, like, a little intimidated, bro. I'm chilling in the apartment, little right out the suite. Total to the gun, you pick the wrong one, you get shot, bitch. New York smoking hot, bitch. Total, he can't stop, shit. Home with your back with a piece of ice, the blast the high, shit. Yeah, pay bro to taste some better Yo, do not say that. Total, we don't bullshit, kill, so snatch up your son. BK sight, I'm in Times Square with that stick. They want I know niggas on the street with confused as fuck. Oh, uh, that that was a that was a good song though, bro. That was a good fucking song. And he low key looked like you, right? I swear to God, I can't. It, it's, it's very hard being dark skin out here. I ain't gonna catch you, bro. Like nigga, like anybody looks like me now, bro. Niggas just be saying fucking anything, bro. That was that was that was fire. I might even hold you, bro. But like fire in a way where I want to go ahead and call the authorities. You know what I'm saying? That shit was gas without the G. Fire. <laughs> I'll fuck with that, bro. Fire. I'll fuck with that. I'm not even gonna hold you. Listen fire, overseas. We already listen fire, to overseas, bro. Fire. Um, fire. Fire. Okay. Fire. Let's go ahead. Fire. Yo, think of it all. Let's go ahead and do reels. Let's go ahead and do reels, bro. Let's go ahead and do some reels, bro. Mm. Taylor Swift uh, drop. Bro, nigga, I'm not gonna cap to you. I seen Taylor swift all over the fucking media bro there's no reason why i turned on the regular fucking radio and the first thing i seen was taylor swift bro how taylor got so much motion like that bro how taylor got so much motion like that bro niggas keep saying drake dropped bro did drake really like oh, instagram niggas said drake dropped on instagram bro if i see oh, how much for the set let's do uh 11 well actually 12 let's do 12 for sets let's do 12 for sets hold on y'all keep niggas keep telling me that drake dropped on on instagram so hold on, i'm about to check Taylor made freestyle while we wait on you, I guess. Oh, he talking shit. Ooh. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Talk to me.
the only nigga who be doing this, yo, what? Like, like, and I, don't get it twisted. Like, I'm like, when niggas is really listening to what he's saying, he really dissing this nigga right now. Like, he's really dissing this nigga using Tupac and now Snoop Dogg's really, like, he's really dissing this nigga now, bro. Cloaking this nigga, bro. Nigga said we gotta wait a week to drop because Taylor Swift gotta prove your shit because Taylor just dropped yesterday. Yo. Nigga, that was that was basically a fucking another diss, nigga. That was ba that was in like that was a fucking another diss. That was a whole another fucking diss, bro. What the comments is saying, bro? I don't know. I don't know why the nigga used Tupac in like uh, Snoop's AI on it. I guess it's because they're like West Coast legends, and, and Kendrick is a, you know what I'm saying West Coast legend too. But nigga, I yo, what the fuck? I feel like I missed so much shit, like, in just in that shit, because it's not on YouTube for some reason, so niggas gotta listen to it on Instagram. I know what some of y'all niggas gonna say, oh my god, Blue Rye, you hyping this nigga head up, da 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 oh my god, Blue Rye, like, you dig riding this nigga. I mean, this nigga's the only nigga who's dropping fucking a diss track right now, so if, if this nigga Kendrick could please drop it, because when you know when Like That came up, how I hyped that shit up, bro. So Kendrick could please drop a diss track, nigga, so we can go hype that shit up too, nigga, that would be fucking lovely. Lana, what's up, Lana, what's up, W Lana in the chat, bro, W Lana in the chat, bro. W Lawn in the chat, bro. Niggas trying, nigga, I want to see these niggas go back and forth, bro. That's what I want to see. Niggas say, which side are you on, nigga? I'm not on no side, bro. That was, I'm not going to lie. Hold on, play, play that back. I want to, I want to hear that.
Nigga, he did not say, what are y'all talking about? He calling you? The nigga did not say my fucking name. Why y'all saying my name? I did not. He said, Rye? Rye, Rye. He did. Rye mentioned, he said Rye. The nigga did not say my fucking name. Rye cameo. He said Rye. Niggas don't uh, realize Drake's a genius for making a bar about the kids and shit. Because now, if, what, if Kendrick disses about that, ain't going to shit his heart. Yeah, because the thing is that uh, Millie Bobby Brown shit, that shit where, you know what I'm saying, I ain't even going to get into that shit. But, like, the nigga Kendrick could have used that against him. I mean, he still can, but like you said, it's not going to hit his heart. Lincoln, make my fucking bowel move. Um, nigga said, what if that's the real Snoop Dogg? N nigga, maybe that's the real fucking uh, Tupac too, my nigga. Like, since you saying that's the real Snoop Dogg, like, nigga, come on, let's, stand, let's sign up, bro. That means another fucking diss track is coming. The first one almost only took me an hour or two. The last train he dropped in the next one. So nigga gonna drop another diss track. Kendrick, please, please drop, bro. Please, like, please drop. Please, bro. I need, I need you to drop, bro. Because this shit, this shit. Is What are y'all talking about? I, like, did I miss it? Do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right. He said, "Right." Are y'all? Are y'all like? Is there, like? Can we lock in? Can we lock in? He said, "Right, not why." He said, "Right." Can we lock in? Do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right. Yo, y'all is act. Y'all are like, yo. I can't. I can't even believe this is over here, right? I don't care. He said, "Right." Y'all head cannons is actually fucking insane, bro. Like, come on, my nigga. Let's tighten up a fucking little bit, bro. Nigga said you try to let that shit down. Nah, 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 nigga. I guess you need another week to figure out how to. Soon as you. Nigga said the rest of y'all is involved. Y'all getting it too, nigga. Yo. 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 <laughs> Yo, Kendrick, please diss this nigga, bro. Please, bro. I need a Kendrick diss, bro. Get the cur I was in the music in industry, bro. I, I would, like... Change my date around Taylor Swift too. I'm not dropping the same day as fucking Taylor Swift, my nigga. Like you might as well just not drop no shit like ever. And like, yo, I might gonna hold you. This might be the biggest dick suck shit I've seen in a long time. Y'all can't even physically see this nigga, bro. The nigga made an account that we hate. <laughs> yo, I might want cap chat. What I realized in my time doing content creation is that some of y'all niggas is really losers, bro. Obviously not y'all. But, like, at least, like, 2% of y'all niggas watching in here are, like, actual, like, losers. Niggas, if they get banned or, or, like, kicked out, blocked, whatever the case may be, niggas will go through all the effort of making another account, naming it whatever, like, the account needs to be named, bro. You have to use a separate email for that. They'll make a whole new account just to dick suck, nigga. That's, like, that's that's actually so fucking insane. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. 2% is a little low. It'd be the, it be the band niggas most of the time, bro. It'd be the band niggas most of the time, bro. But, 
it's crazy because none of y'all would have seen like only mods would have seen that nigga so he didn't really get no attention um well i just gave it to him but it is what it is okay thank you for whoever told me that was on instagram that was actually fire let's now let's go to uh let's go to reels bro let's go ahead and go to reels um all right we're gonna do sets of 12 try not to laugh let's go ahead and start on this one remember if it's food or like some aesthetic type shit we're just gonna go ahead and keep that shit moving and pass right by without it uh going past the count um mm, hold on Um. All right, let's go. If you make his meat and it's bigger than Drake, what are you talking about? What happened? Nigga was not watching where he was going, bro. <laughs> I'm not going. That's just instant instant karma, bro. I ain't going to hold, bro. That's instant, bro. People on the road really drive like bitches, bro. And I'm not saying that like, oh, I be driving 100 and some shit, and then niggas be driving the speed limit. I'm not saying that, bro. But y'all, have y'all ever noticed? Even if you don't drive, bro, when there be a nigga going slow on the road, but God forbid you try to pass them, suddenly they start going fast, bro. If you're behind a nigga and you get in there in the right lane and you get in the left lane to try to pass them. Suddenly, they just start going so fucking fast. And not fast enough to where they pass you. They'll just go the exact amounts of speed to where you cannot pass them, bro. Because there's a car in front of you. Niggas on the road are the biggest assholes, my niggas. So I don't know what happened here, but bro might have deserved it. That's tough. Um, That laugh was personable. I said personable. I doubled back so many times just to laugh at him. That's tough. I'm always mad. This is a true story, though. So I had wanted to go somewhere, and I was mad. Ain't no bro, what the fuck are the G's, bro? Yo, ATL motherfuckers got some competition, bro. ATL niggas got competition, bro. I'm about to go and cap to you, bro. Yo. Yo. Nobody take me. But the craziest thing on my way there, when I got there, when I was on my way there type shit. Jada, I got you. I seen the crash again. So saying that to say, you never know what the world or the universe wanna stop you from encountering. So just be patient in life and don't rush the process. So one- I ain't hear a single word bro said. I ain't hear a single word this nigga said cause I was too busy looking at his jeans, bro. Bro, you should just wear leggings at this point in time. Comments is gonna be crazy. Nigga dressed like a British lesbian. Nigga dressed like a homosexual pilgrim. Nigga too loud in a quiet establishment. Them little ass trousers. When you high as fuck just talking. He just raw dogging a cardigan. No, yo! This fit is actually fucking crazy. Bro, I've never seen a nigga wear a cardigan with no shirt under. He has a fully buttoned cardigan, no sh undershirt. Come on, bro. Much love to Jade. Fuck the haters. You a great person. Atlanta boss. Don't heart. don't say great person. We you might be going too far, bro. Who's calling me? Purple heart. Hold on, Lana's calling me. Hey. Hey, you want to see something crazy? What? What happened? <laughs> Why are you laughing? So did you know that they make these? Hold on. Can I show? Can I show my screen? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Oh, let's... I just got a bunch of snacks. You, what, you went to the gas station? Hell not. What is that shit? Wait, from, from like the internet? Yes, from the internet. <laughs> Why you say that like I said... Hold on. Wait, wait, chat. Look look at what look at what the fuck Lana got. Okay, hold on. Um, let me do this. All right, chat can now see you. Hold on. Chat. Hi, BBG. I ain't never seen. Wait, what flavor is that? Um. Very, very. Where'd you. Nigga, I've never seen that flavor in life. Oh, look, too. I 
Is that wait? Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. You remember two weeks at the gas station? That's the exact candy that I got, bro. Is that mine? No, I just ordered it. Cap, you're lying. I swear, I swear. I think you promised and I locked it. I just ordered it. Okay. And then look. Kit Kat chocolate frosted donut. Chocolate frosted donut Kit Kats. Yo. You kind of mock on Cap to you. That's kind of fucked up. Because whenever I order snacks, I always tell you about it. You ain't even let a nigga know or nothing, bro. Like, what about winning snacks? What do you... What, good, you're not here. I was there. For two seconds. Cap, it was more than two seconds. Oh, wait. Look at my socks. Wait, can I show Chat my socks? Yeah. They, well, you are on the phone, so I mean... Okay. Guys, look at my socks. I got these today. If you know, you know. They're Studio Ghibli. Chat, do I know where the fuck that's from? It's Kiki's delivery service socks, and it has like lace up here, and then on the other. <gasps> Can I show them my other socks? Nigga, you showing the whole, whole? Oh wait, are you talking about the ones we wait, got today? Wait, wait, hold on, let me just show the other socks. Bro, I wanna get so fucking excited over like the the littlest shit, bro. Look, 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 look. Okay, look, I got these ones. It's my neighbor the, Totoro, Totoro socks. Those are hard. Okay, then I got. Spirited Away socks. Okay. Really, really w socks. Right. And then the curvy these curvy ones. ones are super, super cute. And they have like little cute lace at the top. Tight shit. And then I got these cinnamon roll socks. Those is hard. And they have like lace and little polys in it. The last one. And then I got Finn. Chat, these are the hardest ones. Those joints that's these the Finn ones are the hardest ones, chat. Chat, which one is the hardest one? I think I think the Finn one is the hardest one. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, I could do a money spread but with socks. Hey, okay. But let let's get back to the topic though. Uh, is that all you got from your, your candy haul? Oh, I got chips. Okay, but, and, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, like, you was just... Oh, and I got these. Hold what? On. So, it, it's just so fucked up, because niggas... Pickled eggs? Yeah. Chat, y'all, y'all fuck with pickled eggs? It's just, I just want it crazy that niggas never really tell niggas that they get snacks and shit like that. Like, I feel that's low-key fucked up, bro, like... You can, are you like, am I on mute or some shit? Yeah, I'm gonna try these. These I feel like these are gonna be really, really good. Can you say something for me? Yeah, and then I made myself a drinky drink. What do you mean you made it? Is that lean? No, it's not lean, but it is alcohol. Cap. No cap. Why are you drinking it's alcohol? Watermelon. Cause I was just like, I wanted to vibe tonight. I wanted to. Vibe, play some cod, listen to some music, chill. Why did nigga say alcohol in chat? Alcohol. Boy, it's just alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> Alright, man. You enjoy your fucking night, bro. Bye, BBG. Alright, man. Niggas always getting shit without me, bro. This is the type of shit I be talking about, bro. Like whenever, whenever, whenever I be doing some niggas, never want to give me shit, bro. I'm just saying, like, right, where's my, where's my snacks at, bro? Love you all. Um, Neko, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you for the five fucking dollars, bro. Look at what day it is today. Oh, it's four twenty. It's 420. Dry smoke of blood. Damn, chat. It's really, it's really 420, chat. What we doing to celebrate, chat? <laughs> That was probably the worst audio I've ever heard in my fucking life. It's the mustache man's birthday. Historical. Dude, that was probably the worst audio I've ever heard in my fucking life, bro. Nigga, it's not 2014. Keep playing it. Holy audio. Right here. Keep playing it. Nigga had whiplash. Dog.
I don't, I don't, y'all know I don't be do, I don't be doing nothing, bro. So I don't be, I don't be, I don't be doing shit, bro. Fucking like no pussy. Wow. Epic. Don the Marco. Isn't this crazy, bro? This is this is like OG brain rot. This is like this is really some like original brain rot type stuff right here, bro. It's crazy how like fucking times have changed, my niggas. Niggas, you really used to be watching fucking MLG compilations and shit like that. Um, okay, let's go back to reels, bro. Um, is nostalgic? Is fuck that? It is brain rot though. It is brain rot though. But shit, it's good brain rot though. Atlanta, back to this nigga with the skinny ass fucking like Atlanta brand jeans. Why is this nigga in a library telling true stories? Nigga look like an ATL philosopher. Look like his shirt still on the hanger. This nigga look like something. Nigga went to nigga went to Barnes and Noble to tell uh, uh this. Nigga dressed like a fr a frisky pirate. Nigga dressed like a bisexual vampire. This nigga made out of shins and clavicles. Nigga is that a blouse Dracula dressing ass nigga. Freaky ass bait. I've never seen a comment section roast a nigga you know, this yeah, fucking yeah, hard yeah, in yeah, life, bro. Bro, dressed like a zesty ass substitute teacher. Nigga, dressed like Frank Gallagher. Nigga, dressed like a stud uncle. Bro, and it just keeps fucking going, bro. Yo, who the fuck said my choice? Yo. I've never seen a comment section go this hard and Yo, I'm trying so hard not to bust out laughing. Isn't this like the first, second post or some shit? I've never seen a comment section go this hard at one nigga ever, bro. Nigga dressed like a bad gay. Nigga dressed like an artistic lesbian school teacher. Nigga built like an oh my Okay, I had to stop looking at copies, bro. I had to stop looking at copies, bro. All right, next joint, bro. Next joint. Um, uh, this joint right here. Contact. We know what's gonna happen. He a cool ass nigga, though. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. He riding that shit. Pause. Oh no, he good. He really just him. He really is a cool ass dude, bro. I thought it was gonna be like some crash or some shit, but it don't look like it. He just look like he chilling. I thought there was gonna be, I thought there was gonna be like a fall, a crash, like something, bro. Like I ain't, I ain't know, bro. Um, India is not for beginners. Yamrock's laughing in the corner. Is John Cena driving? This nigga just built it, bro. I don't even know how bro's doing this. That, bro, he should he should have took flicks. This would have been flyer photo shoots. I ain't gonna hold you. That photo shoot would have uh, gone stupid. All right, um, next joint. Yo, thank you for the uh, gifted, Neko. I appreciate you. Why'd you have to take me to super cuts? This haircut looks horrible. I had a coupon. You look good, honey. My I seen that one before. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You wanted to look uh, for it. Toast cold, Dean Trap stars. What we doing? I feel remain nameless. Deserve my dedication. Why is this? What, let's go with these freaky ass niggas in this barber, like getting they haircut, bro. Right? Because not bad, but it's just like, look at this dude. I just want my movement like Larry Davis. Actually, did, oh my fucking god. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 nigga. That motherfucker is in dire need of some strawberry mint hair growth oil. What the fuck? They got this motherfucker doing side clones in his hair. I ain't even see the back yet. He almost caught me off guard just from the front angle, but what the? Hold on. 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 Hold on.
Hold on, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. To be fair though, what can you really do with this? If you remain nameless, deserve my death. What could you really, really do with this, bro? Bro, Death 40, he look like he know a good ass secret. Nigga got a master plan. Nigga up to no good. I spread misinformation, look at ass. I would have hired him just to fire him. Nigga know the secret formula. Diddy right hand man. That nigga did look a little. He looked like he got uh, a couple tricks on his sleeve, bro. I don't know, bro. Let me try to open up um the Reels page on uh IG because my shit tweaking on, on fucking opera okay okay we're gonna skip that one chat like a creep yo why do i keep getting car accidents on my reels hey do that dance do you love that what you doing hello what you i don't doing? like your music why i always hear nigga 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 this nigga die man shut up like a creep damn chat i mean that nigga can't spin bruh he kind of spin. The music must not really be like that, bro. If you're uh, on Sunset, or I don't know if that's his nephew or what, but shit. It must not really be like that. Boondocks? Yo, bro, think he an intellectual? Whoa, bro, are you smarter than the older one? Loki, I fuck with, bro. He's smart. Yeah. Boondocks ass moment. Look Dang. at him. Look at him. He's dead ass serious. Do y'all see his eyes? Do that dance. Do that dance. dance. What you doing? I don't like your music. Why? Yeah, he was dead ass serious too, bro. This is the one the people we see in this one. Nigga. Hello? What the f Negativity oh. like an addiction. You have to yo finish with that next time, bro. Finish with that, bro. Hi. Nigga. Negativity can be like an addiction. Negativity, nigga activities. No. It my, your fault you ain't let him speak? Bro, what the fuck? Hold on a minute as reaction? That shit almost got me. I'm not even gonna hold you. What you need to do. Pick your lazy ass up, go to the store, and get hot Cheetos. And they uh, and buy like six of these, and just drink the fuck out of it. I, I drink like five of these, and, and this is my last one. Cause I'm sick, and I'll eat these two plus. I'll eat this motherfucker in the damn. He's not going to realize till he go to the toilet what's going to be the consequences of this. He doesn't realize, chat, but whatever toilet is in that house is going to be shut down for at least like a decade now. He said he drunk six of those. Six Starbucks drinks, and bro was eating a whole bag of hot Cheetos. I pray for the toilet. I pray for the family. I pray for the family, bro. Mm, mm. He not gonna realize it now, yeah, bro. That shit, look. So you need to go to the fucking store and get them. Ugh. This drink tastes good than a bitch. But how the fuck do I open it though? That's the problem. What? I feel like you don't really realize till you get older, bro. Like, eating all that shit in tangent, when you're a kid, you really just eat all the candy at once. Like, like if it's Halloween or, or you got snacks, you just really eat that shit at once because you're like, I don't give a fuck. But when you older, you really start to realize, bro, that level of fucking 100 you gonna go take, that shit ain't cool, bro. And when your dentist is in your jaw, pause. When your dentist is in your jaws, that shit not cool, bro. Y'all ever been so scared of the, the consequences of eating some shit that y'all haven't eaten it, bro? Like, there was this time where I, there was this whole Hershey bar, bro, this big-ass Hershey bar. I could have crushed that shit, but I was like, bro, if I eat this right now, the consequence is going to be dire. I know I'm going to be on the toilet for at least two hours. And then you got to go ahead and decide if you're going to go ahead and take that risk or not. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not, bro. Neko, thank you for the five uh, dollars. I appreciate you. Isn't that fun? My is a Hershey bar, but it was a big, bro. It's not like the regular Hershey bar. It's one of them big joints, like, like a big-ass Hershey bar. Pause. Like... I don't know, bro. Dude is tweaking on Starbucks fraps. Cuzzo off the red 40. This is my last one. You know damn well he got a problem. The kids yearn for red 40. Y'all fuck with Hot Cheetos, chat? Hot Cheetos cool. They cool, but like, they not like, not anything too crazy, though, bro. Mm, all right. Yeah. Just kidding, that. Is this alcohol, bro? It burns, it burns, it burns. Is my singing an opera song? 
So when you get that, when you get that alcohol on you for the first time, you get that, that alcohol wipe on you for the first time, that shit, like, give you, like, flashbacks to a life you've never lived. You go into the fucking Avatar state. The first time in life where you get your hair cut and you have to get the alcohol on you, bro, you literally go into the Avatar state. You look to the left and you just see all your ancestors looking at you, bro. That's how, like, painful that first alcohol hit, uh, hurts. Bro, it's just alcohol, bro. Boy, is this alcohol. Yeah. I'll pay double for you to do this to my son. This is actually like an evil ass nigga, bro. It's the high note. Uh, nigga started singing. Nigga started evaporating. Next one. You don't put the must on your chicken. You tripping for You don't understand how far back this dude has set us back. You don't understand. Like, this dude in particular has set us back so fucking far, bro. Like... <laughs> like, why is your... Bro, why is your hefty ass doing this shit, bro? Motherfucker's name is Otis Swag? Bro's name is Otis? Motherfucker, back in the barnyard face ass nigga. Like, what the fuck? Bro, this is what I be talking about. Like, why are you in the street? And this nigga does this consistently, bro. Devouring chicken in the middle of the street and doing the dance. Like, I don't know. It's just something about this that really pisses me off, bro. You don't put the must on your chicken. You tripping, bro. My alcohol packet was called Atomic, and I thought I was going to explode. I was like six, so I ran away and never finished the haircut, Lamel. There's no crying way. Face, crying face. Crying face. Nigga wonder why he's still overweight. Uh, 280. Th this man ate the bone. I cannot. Martin Luther King didn't die for him. Bro left no traces of that chicken. He actually devoured the fucking chicken, bro. Come on, bro. I can never look at that trippin' trippin' guy the same after that video he made about his mom. Dude used that same voice announcing that his mom was dead. Are you she serious? Crazy. There's no way he announced his mother's death in this voice, bro. Are you serious? What's his name? Otis Swag? Hold on. There's no fucking way. Otis Swag. Mom died. I already see uh, recommended on. Wait. No, I don't see the video. If anybody has the clip, send it to me. Because I, I don't have it. Oh my god, I just had the strongest oh shit in the Justin and beat my ass right now. Anybody has a clip? Send that joint to me, bro. Um, all right. Let's keep it. Let's go ahead and keep it moving now, bro. Um next. Did we look at comments? Oh yeah, 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 we looked at comments. This don't count. This don't count, but that just kind of fire. I might even hold you, bro. Damn, somebody really sent it, bro. see Wait, where's that clip where's that clip where's that clip i literally seen somebody send it i literally see somebody send it yo my mom is dead yo pray for me please pray for me yo that was my okay maybe the nigga really talk like that though maybe bro maybe bro really like really 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 talk like that bro I, maybe the, like maybe he really really talks like that though. Like I, I'm, I'm gonna give the nigga the benefit of the doubt. I might not like the way this nigga devours chicken, bro. But maybe I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, bro. Maybe like he that's the way like he actually like you know. Uh, he really talks. Uh, he really talks like that. I've seen other videos he made after her past. Yeah, I, maybe the nigga just really talk like that, bro. Um. Hey y'all. This ain't what I drove up here in. I'm sitting in a Toyota 4Runner, y'all. Look at my shirt. The rain's got my shirt wet. I'm sitting in a Toyota 4Runner, bro. Bro, y'all will never guess what this is. Y'all will never guess what this is. Hey, y'all, check this out. I got the official Seven I can say something. I can say something about it. Ribbon cutting. I'm going to be at the ribbon cutting. I am a celebrity guest. At the ribbon cutting, February the seventh, at eleven thirty, for the crumble. This is like a, a very, 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 very like. I feel like you have to work to get this build, bro. 
I feel like this is a build that takes some work to get into. Uh, into I ain't gonna cap. Y'all remember that somebody's son? My guy's immune to uppercuts. Y'all think if, if a nigga like I know niggas make fun of Queso, bro. Built like a but I feel like this is how niggas think Queso is built. Like, cook. If a nigga ever hits this nigga in this area, y'all think it's just going like pause but suck like they hand up and shit like that like niggas just gonna get absorbed like it fucking sell in his second form this is like e e this is very interesting builds right here bro you know the funny thing is i could say pause bro and then niggas will still put question marks regardless if i put pause or not it's like is it even worth saying pause sometimes bro because it's just like no matter if i say pause or not bro niggas is just gonna put question marks regardless bro okay. This what the fuck did I just? What's good, cool, my reels, bro? Sometimes it be car accidents. Sometimes it be kid. like kids, like speaking Chinese and shit like that, bro. Uh, uh for that wait, wait, no, 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 go back. He says for those who can't understand Chinese, this is what he said. Um, from this day, to, from today onward, I will get fit every day. I will run. I will become a handsome man. Let's go. On second thought, I think drinking cold milk tea is better. Then running on a hot summer day. Shit. I mean, child, he trying he was trying to get better, bro. He was trying to get better, bro. I can't even I can't even hate on bro, bro. Um, next joint. Eric just opened a new What the fuck? Oh, I think we've seen this one before. We seen this one like a while ago. Okay, look, by the way, no, before somebody says payout, no, that's not a payout. Now, look, I could play this video right now, bro. I could play this video right now. I'm going to play this video right now. Hopefully, they're good. How the fuck did that even happen? How the fuck did that even happen, bro? Yo, that's actually scary. That could, nigga, like, nigga, car just jumped out of nowhere. Rocket League. CGI getting crazy. Must. Wow. It's not real ITAI. Is AI okay? Yeah, we got. Let, let's let's go with that. Let's let's go with that, bro. Uh, that was twelve. Pay that out, bro. Pay that. Pay that out. Please pay that out. Please pay that out. We got two more sets of twelve, bro. Please pay that out. I did not laugh, bro. I did not laugh. Yo, what the fuck? Well, that was a crazy a ass. Mario Kart shell. I believe I can fly a car. Can we like? Can we tighten up just a fucking little bit, bro? Can we tighten up just a fucking little bit, bro? Watch sets of 12, because I don't want really to do sets of 10. Any more questions? Um, My bad, I'm late. You good, bro. You good, bro. Cock Rocket, thank you for the um, 100 bits, bro. Thank you for the uh, 100 bits, bro. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start I'm some more. waiting for the chair to snap, and you bust your ass and have everyone clip it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, bro. This chair right here. Ooh, my chair's strong today. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, this chair not going to fall. All right. Um, Next set. That. But they want me my uh explore page want me to go to Tokyo so bad bro. Oh you gonna get this work. Nah. Mm -hmm. Nah. 
He just loved him. He kissed his down to Did this motherfucker evolve? Like, is this nigga like a, a homo sapien? Y'all know on the fucking, like, y'all ever see that one image uh, uh, that Charles Darwin made where it shows the nigga evolving from a primate into, like, an actual human? Did this nigga, like, stop mid-evolution, bro? Yeah. Caveman ass. You know, hey, good. Oh, hey, something good. That nigga ain't get the update, bro. I don't know if he got the he got the DLC patch, bro. Nier, somebody called up a Nier to throw. Yo, what the fuck is on the other side of the phone? I gotta know. Or who the fuck is that on the other side of the phone, bro? Like, fuck, I did not mean to do that. Um, somebody said he looked like the old Why Redskins. Look, love me. Am I not good enough? Do I need to become one of the bad bitches? Just say you love me. Zach, why do you want another man to say that he loves you so bad, bro? What do you, what is one, what is one gain out of that, bro? What is, what is one truly, truly gain out of that? Like, it, like, check. Let's have a little bit of decorum, bro. Um, real leprechaun in the hood. Do look like washed his red. He do. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Holy shit, bro. They're on this nigga dead. He looked easy and hard to draw. This man was born in 539 BC in ancient Mesopotamia. This is what he looks like. He looked like a black umpalumpa. Yo, what did you search up to get this shit up, bro? What did you search up to get this shit up, bro? Nah, I think you were the 13, uh, well, 14 months. I appreciate you. What did you? Is he doing a gum sandwich? Certified BBG. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I knew it, bro. I fucking knew it, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. The whole house has to go. The whole house has to go, bro. The whole house has to go immediately, bro. Holy shit, bro. I hate roaches, bro. The whole house has to go, bro. It's, it's to the point, bro. If I ever see a bug, like, I will not stop until the bug. I will make it my... Unless it's a gnat. If it's a gnat, bro, I have to chop it up to the game. I'll try to kill it. But, like, gnats is, like, the hardest bug to kill. Like, you you think you kill them niggas, but if you don't see a body, them niggas probably still alive, to be honest. But every other bug, bro, it's just straight smoke. If I see you, have to get out within, like, a, a, a fucking decent time frame, my nigga. Or I gotta leave the house, bro. I'm just saying, the niggas gotta go. Do I need to do more? Please just say you love me. I felt that in my wrist. Deserve for no bed sheets on the bed. Why did I jump? Chat, y'all ever had roaches in your house? In my first house, I ain't gonna lie, when I was like seven and six, we had like uh this little like roach invasion happen. I'm not even gonna cap to you, bro. There's this like straight roach invasion in the house, my nigga. And I was fighting roaches back and forth. Niggas was going through it and shit like that. Why does he not have bed sheets? Maybe the nigga live in Detroit. The nigga could live in such an eight Detroit, chat. I don't know the nigga's uh situation, bro. Why are we shaming him for living? Y'all niggas are, are house shaming now. Um, like, what would possess you to want to literally be like, I want to get in a bubble and go get my ass knocked off into we seen the crowd? Like, it's Dog, no way that you nigga flew away, bro. All the way through. Chad, how many like, y'all? How many y'all would genuinely do this? This don't count because we've seen it before. But how many of y'all would genuinely, genuinely, genuinely do this shit, bro? What would possess you to want to literally be like, I want to get in a bubble and go get my ass knocked off into the crowd? Like, it's no way Me? you thought this all the way through. Like, what would possess you to want... What does the comment say? The airtime's insane. The airtime... Do y'all see that nigga in the sky? That shit look fun as fuck? Why part of me is like, I, I low-key might do this, bro? Wanna literally be like, I want to get in the bubble look, look and go this nigga. get my look ass this nigga. Look, 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 look. to the crowd. Look, 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 bro. He was in the sky for at least four fucking seconds before he landed, bro. That Loki looks fun. I I don't know why. I Loki Loki would have tried that shit. I might go cat to you, bro. And I don't like trying like no types of bullshit. Um. So what do you fall on your legs? I mean, well, then you can't walk. I ain't one cat. But that's a whole situation that you gotta uh solve on a, a whole nother time. Um. Let me see. Okay, next one. Why does this nigga keep coming up on this shit, bro? 
got your drama Way too blessed to even care Care about no paper Nigga, use it Oh, turn that game off Look at me, mate No, don't turn it off, this is stop Which one of y'all ate my meat, man? What? Which one of y'all ate my meat? Cause I had meat inside that refrigerator And one There's like a way better ways to phrase this shit, bro One of y'all ate my meat, bro one of y'all ate my meat, bro. One of y'all ate my meat. Which one of y'all ate my meat, bro? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna start smelling breath because I know what my meat smell like. And if any one of y'all met breath smell like my Easy, meat, bro, I'm going off in y'all behind. Do y'all? Yo, they already know. They like what the fuck? Like, you understand me? So which one of y'all ate the meat? Which one of y'all ate my meat, man? No diddy, bro. <laughs> Bro, about like, yo, it's crazy. They got the young generation saying no Diddy. Diddy's legacy is actually like cooked. Um, bro was in the, bro in the black was on pause time immediately. Suddenly the black was disgusted. This weird as fuck. Little bro had to look at big bro like you hear this shit too, right? Yeah. This is why I be saying some niggas just genuinely don't know how to drive, bro. Well, we seen this. We seen this. We actually seen this. We seen this. <laughs> Not this nigga, bro. Damn, low. 3-2. That's a world record, baby. 3-2. That's two. a world record, man. Cat Williams who? Bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Why do we keep seeing this nigga, bro? We saw this? Oh, okay. What do y'all do in this scenario? You see this freak ass nigga like screaming like he just got his butt taken in the middle of the fucking gym. Like, bro, put the weights down, bro. That one guy struggling, this nigga right here. Nah, you see that nigga shaking, bro? That's how you, I'm not gonna lie. That's how you know that's a good ass workout, my nigga. I might, if it's getting to that point. <laughs> and this shit was leaning, bro. I know, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I know this shit too well, my nigga. I don't know about y'all, but um, when I be lifting, bro, I have a, a, a imbalance, bro. So when I be lifting, like after a while, my right arm's my strong arm, so my left will just go down. So the fucking bar, there is a lot of time where if I'm doing, like, if I'm doing a solid amount of weight, the left will start to get weak, even though the right is still trying to push. But I know this shit too well, my nigga. I ain't going to catch you. I wonder why. No witnesses. <laughs> Somebody said Glenn Quagmire in... The chat, you got it, bro. Said you gotta start alternating. Do I gotta start alternating, bro? Do I gotta start alternating, bro? Is that is that new methods, bro? Yo, like chat. There are up. Okay, all right. Um, dude on the bench fighting for his life as a spotter, bro. Bro, he you're supposed to be spotting this nigga. This nigga about I'm not gonna lie. This nigga about to give the fuck up. Um, how, how is bro struggling to lift the bar? Wait, there's no weight on that. Okay, nigga, there's no weight on that. Maybe he's just now coming into the gym. Like, maybe this is, like, his first time in the gym, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I did not see that there was no weight on that shit, bro. Yo, maybe, maybe this is first, the nigga first time, like, going into the gym, bro. Um, he was so distracted that bro spotter forgot to do his job. Straight struggling for his life while his spotter scared to death. I mean, if he dropped this shit, though, he wouldn't, he wouldn't die, though. That should probably hurt, though, dropping that bar on your neck. But shit, he'd be fine, though. He'd be fine. Ain't no weight on it. Uh, how's your gym progress? Bro, I'm going to keep it a stack. I've been slacking like shit, bro. I feel like I've been so busy now that I haven't had time to really go into the gym. This summer, I'm really about to lock in and go back. I haven't, I literally have not been into the gym in, like, uh, two months. I let all my progress go. I'm not even going to catch you. I mean, I still got those weights over there, but, like, that's just, you can only do so much with just the fucking weights, like, in the crib. I need to go back. I need to go back this summer, like, for sure. Um...
Nick said, L excuses. Bitch, I'm not going to cap to you, my nigga. I start going into the gym right now while I'm in school, my nigga, and I'm taking eight classes, nigga. You will not see a stream from me, my nigga. Once we done with this eight classes, we locking in, though, bro. Some of y'all niggas forget that when a nigga taking fucking eight classes at once. That shit probably hurt like fuck, bro. Um, bro had one job. Kid sadly died. Y'all, y'all remember remote cars? I need to get that shit. I need to get a remote car. Here's the pitch. Oh, oh he's oh still alive. God. Will he? We seen this? Okay. Did we see? Did we see this? Have we have we seen this? Here's the pitch. Bro, that shit is hilarious. Oh, I I'm not gonna, I do not remember seeing this shit. I'm not even gonna cap to you. I know we seen a nigga get hit by a baseball bat, but I don't think we seen this one, bro. Oh, he's oh still alive. God. I don't I'm, I don't know really? if I remember this one, so fuck it. It don't matter. I'm uh, fuck. We letting it go. Um, bro's disappointed. This does count. Bro's disappointed that he didn't die. I did this to my kid when he was five. He hates sports now. I might have fucked that up. Oh, he's still alive. Un video, mami, gente, para perder el tiempo. Señores, ahora me están acusando de que yo pongo a la gente a perder el tiempo. Por favor, póngalo en un comentario y dígale que usted pierde el tiempo solo, por favor. What's going on with that nigga, uh, Don Poya? What, what happened to, what's going on with this nigga, bro? <laughs> what is this nigga saying? My Spanish niggas out there, what is, what is he saying, bro? Yo pierdo el tiempo porque quiero por, por, por derrero. Why is bro crying? I want him to be happy. What happened? Someone please translate. I came back. Why is he crying? What the fuck? Click translation. Oh, wait, is there a translation button? I waste time because I want to waste it. What the fuck does that mean? They blaming him for wasting time. Oh, okay. I will help, but he's speaking a different dialect of Spanish. My Spanish uh, speaking niggas out there who's in chat. So, like, if, like, you run into a nigga who's from DR and you from, like, Nicaragua or some shit like that, bro. I said Nicaragua. That's a fucking actual country, so search that up. Um, if you're from there, is it the shit, like, different? Like, is it different, like, in terms of Spanish speaking? Like, can you understand what a nigga from there is saying, bro? Um, yeah, yes, yes, you can. Okay, but is it, so is that like for everywhere, like, will you be confused if you talk to a nigga from like Spain or some shit? Like if you're from, if you're from Dominican Republic and you talk to a nigga from Spain, are you going to be confused if you talk to the nigga or is it going to be like the same type shit? Slang might be different. Oh, okay. Salvadorian, as a Salvadorian, I can't speak Spanish. I'm not confused, but it's annoying. Oh, okay, I see. We seen this one. Oh my god! Yeah, GG's, 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 you're not running far enough. You're not running fast enough. GG's. You know, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, bro. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, bro. Fun date ideas for under $100. This is why men's life insurance is significantly higher than women. Damn. WCAT. One gram of protein is actually fucking insane. One wrong move and bro's done. No, I ain't gonna cap, bro. If he actually steps on this nigga, it's actually GG's, bro. I'd actually probably cry real tears, bro. Um, bro cannot guard. Yeah. Next one. Yup. Y'all niggas cannot be doing that, bro. Y'all cannot be doing that, bro. You know where the fuck we at? 
My heart, like my heart just, bro, y'all cannot be doing that, bro. I thought bro was going to stop, but it was just a fucking edit. Now, I used to don't do that ever again, bro. Stop giving me a heart attack. The gas of air, I guess. Oh, yo, it's crazy that half these should be looking like fucking live leak videos, so you can't even tell what the fuck's really going on, bro. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Oh! What, my fucking my stream deck, bro. My keyboard. Dog. My fucking keyboard. The fucking caps lock, bro. Oh my fucking god, bro. Yo, my fucking head hurts, bro. I need to go to fuck to sleep, bro. Bro, God damn, bro. It's good as a mechanical keyboard, yeah. So that should just go right back on. What the fuck happened in that video, bro? Is this the same video? Stop. I can't be the only one who got scared by that shit, right? I can't be the only one. It was just a bitch. Calm down. Where the fuck my hat go? I ain't even know if my shit came off, bruh. It's just you. Anime is life. Thank you for that sub, bruh. Thank you for that sub. Um, I feel violated fire, and loved in a matter of seconds. Fire, fire, fire. Please pay that fire, shit out and let's just fire, get into the next fire. set, bro. God damn, that just hurt the fuck out my head, bro. Yo. Right, Saul is in the new tomorrow's teachings video. Chad, if I didn't already know that, bro. Y'all niggas would spoil the fuck out of me, bro. Now I, can, now I know, bro. I can't ever... T like, niggas can never tell y'all nothing, bro. Like, if, if Sala... Imagine my react, my first time reaction if I watched that video without knowing that Sala's in the video, bro. It, it's not... I already knew because Sala already told me that he was going to be in the video. But niggas just be spoiling for... Just spoiling the fucking videos. You want to be telling me about the plot next, my nigga? Like, damn. Um, go ahead and predict up for this new set. Right after this, we're doing tomorrow's teachings bingo. So... Um... Yeah. Wait, is the video out? Uh, yeah, the video, that video is out. I haven't seen anything from the video. I just know Saul is in the video. Um, and I know it came out today. So we're going to do it literally after this next set. We're going to go ahead and do it, bro. Um, let me go ahead and continue to set. My head hurts it like shit after that, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Um, hold on. Let me make sure I didn't miss no, nothing. Okay. Let's go. Let's keep going, bro. Perfect. And they got uh Goku. This is to you. Holy shit. Nigga, his cup fucked up too. I ain't gonna lie, Jack. Can y'all really trust a motherfucker who don't got a clean lineup himself to cut y'all hair, bro? I don't know if you can, bro. Perfect. Why y'all said you This is straight to you? Nigga. His shit, Chris, his shit fucked up. His shit, they sent that nigga back to the shadow room. They sent his hairline line back to the fucking Prohibition era, bro. Damn. BTW yep. about earlier. Every form of Spanish is understandable to each other. It's just if accents and slang. It's like uh, a UK okay. dude talking to an astute in Puerto Rican. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So who's the UK niggas of Spanish-speaking niggas? His hairline looks like Charlie Brown's shirt. That eyebrow raise got me. Nah, that nigga shit is fucked. Spain? Are really just Spain? That's tough. You would think that Spain is Spain is the main niggas because you know what I'm saying? They name it Spain, but damn, I guess not. <laughs> this is child endangerment. I cannot show this legally, so we were just kid skip. This is bullshit. I'm a fast fuck boy. What the fuck was that? You ain't fast enough to escape me, little bro. You better be ready at 10. We're going. Holy fuck, man. In some of these comments, bro. I remember this. we seen this.
This is the first time I seen somebody like throw it like that and it didn't hit the fucking ceiling immediately. <laughs> I thought that shit would have crushed the fucking ceiling, bro. Um, holy shit, this comment section sucks. No respect for the facility. Oh yeah, we're not gonna look at this comment section, bro. We're not gonna look at this comment section. I think we've seen this one. And it turns to like a Nokia and shit, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is we seen this too, bro. In New York, I'm in Little Rock. I didn't have my socks. What the fuck? And I shoot at all. What? And I'm. Is this an airport? Yo, you be saying, I'm not gonna lie, Chad. You will see the craziest places you will see people is your local mall in a fucking airport, bro. You see all types of characters from all walks of life in the fucking airport, bro. Bro said, I'm gonna be the one to assassinate him. Wow. You see all types of motherfuckers. Like, is, it, is this an airport? This has to be an airport, no? Okay, this is the airport. He said, press at the airport. What the hell? Nah, he outdripped you, Gagey. So how are those rights treat? Who rebooted Abe? Lore accurate Abraham Lincoln. Bro did a did, did with Abraham Lincoln. Bro said how are those rights treating you. That's actually so fucking insane. That nigga put in that work. You doing it. You doing it. Um, bro is just uh, making himself a bigger portion. You deserve it? Yeah, if y'all know, y'all know. If you don't know, you don't know, bro. Uh, we got Larry bitching before GTA 6. Um, this nigga put Larry to work. That nigga really pumping that iron, too, bro. He just, he put to get Ian later. Nah, he put, he, he put in that work, bro. Yo, this don't count. But videos like this, bro, I be getting videos like this, like shit, like these little aesthetic videos. I stay getting shit like this. Bro. Making healthier choices, heading to McDonald's for a salad. Making a salad right now out of a Big Mac. Big Mac and French fry salad. I'm on a health journey, and tonight I'm making a healthy choice. I got this salad maker. This isn't junk food. This is healthy. Look, and, and the funny thing about, like, motherfuckers on Twitter in particular is motherfuckers will, con like, just be so mad about, like, motherfuckers who be dissing people who looks like that, and then they proceed to do shit like that, bro. Like, nigga, McDonald's, Big Mac salad, this, does that sound like fucking fine dining eatery? That already sounds terrible. I'm gonna keep it aside with you. That already sounds like shit. But, niggas, that sound like fucking good benefits at all? Nigga, you might as well eat the fucking Big Mac. How the fuck there's no comments? She's up for some Damn. The nigga lost his trunk. His trunk gone. What the? Bro, whole trunk just left just like that, bro. Now that nigga's entire trunk is fucking gone. Y'all like y'all fuck with them car shows and shit like that where motherfuckers be doing donuts and shit. The pole deserves a key in a uh city to key to the city in a race. Yeah, that pole did not fold. That pole did not move at all, bro. The whole back end just dissolved. Yeah, not really. Not really. No, no, no. No fell apart like a Lego game. Oh, this look like live. Music. Nigga, I told y'all I know live leak when I see one, bro. I know live leak when I see one, bro. I knew I knew this shit was live leak, bro. From the fucking, uh, what is it, Portuguese? From this text right here, Russian? I don't know what the fuck this text is right here. From this text right here to the fucking, uh, fucking 4x4 four four fucking video, I was already knowing, bro. Okay, the dude's alive, but he's barely alive, bro. He's barely alive, bro. Russian, did I not say Russian second? Yeah, yeah, see, this is the dick ride I be talking about, nigga. I said Portuguese, and I said, where's this Russian? Like, but I guess, you know what I'm saying? Niggas can't have a second answer, bitch-ass nigga. But, um, 
the nigga is like barely, barely alive. I'm not even gonna cap to you. He didn't get hit at all. Like it barely fucking missed. I'm not even gonna cap to you, bro. Um, no way he didn't get impaled. From his point of view, it would have been uh, hard to see. He's dead, by the way. No, he he's actually you know where's one of that dude uh dead. He started reversing. That nigga's actually dead. <laughs> That's so fucking crazy. That would have dead ass killed that nigga, bro, in GTA. Yo, can I stop getting videos like this? Like, bro, we're not on, we don't do live week shit no more. A nigga on a Friday night and fuck his weekend up. Like, you ain't done. Yeah, it might be on some stupid shit. What? Muzzle on the chop, that bitch sound like it's poopy shit. Pull up to the courthouse with a the Glock, they losing the way this shit is You got the Jojo ass, ass fucking Jojo haircut, bro. What you saw, and the chill niggas that just pull up and park. Nervous sweat. Nervous sweat. Which one are you, nigga? Nervous sweat. What? Nervous so sweat. what kind Nervous of cut bar is Nervous this? Sweat. Nervous sweat. This Nervous shit would have went crazy in the fucking 90s, bro. This shit would have went fucking insane in the 90s, bro. Dog, get that, get that nigga built-in hat. Say hi to me, please. This would have been tough in the 90s. Neko, what's up? Leave it at three. Um, kind of hard, not gonna lie. JoJo Part 3 haircut. Yeah. Few back shots never hurt a friendship. Why did I why did I get why she send this to me? Nah, I'm just I'm just twisting y'all nut hairs, bro. 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 But who I will send it to? Ruby. Rose. All right, cool. Keep moving. Remember that before you're gonna jerk off, before you're gonna chuck that chicken. Remember that God is watching. She will block you. No. Okay. And God don't like. Fucking lazy people How either. Get this hate those lazy people. Damn, Chaz, this nigga's he talking about you. What the fuck? If there's anybody who's top tier gooners, it's y'all niggas, bro. Remember that before you're gonna jump. Bro left a message for himself three minutes into the future. Chug that chicken is crazy. I just finished a 14 hour shift. He will understand. Is that what niggas be doing? They be coming home for a 14 hour shift and just like, damn, I gotta beat my dick, bro. Is that really what would be going on? Today was my last day chugging the chicken. This nigga's lying. This nigga is lying, bro. He's trying to fix your imbalance. Tight shit, Alejandro Tate. You after streaming, chat. I don't get all streaming just like, damn. I really want to fucking beat my cock, like, nigga. Like, let's let's lock in, like, just a little bit, bro. Yeah, bro, that shit be hard. Why after work, though? Like, well, specifically after work, after the hard, hard day's work, you just like, oh, I deserve this. It's like that. You're going to beat and smoke. Yo, anybody ever try to be to, to smoke and, and beat they meat or get drunk and beat they meat? Why ain't did why ain't do that before? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We might be on why ain't never did that before. Anybody try to do that before? W methods. Keep grinding, King. Like, was this fucking necessary, bro? It's always a nigga with no pro pop issue. Was this necessary, bro? Pay that out. No lies, bro. No fucking lies, bro. Go ahead and pay that shit out, bro. Bro, go through all the hard shit. I pray for him. I generally do pray for him, bro. I generally do pray for him, bro. Go ahead and pay that. Go ahead and pay that shit out, bro. Pay that shit out, bro. No lies. Um, w Reels. The Reels today was really, really, really good. Just not good enough to make me laugh, though. But it was really, really good uh, Reels today. I ain't gonna cap. It was some fire Reels today. All right. Ooh, in the Justin like shit. Um, let's go ahead and do... Tomorrow's teaching bingo.
tomorrow's teachings bingo chat you already know there's a video out tonight for tomorrow's teachings they drop like once every like decade this video is called white kid shame for his small wiener you won't believe it tomorrow's teachings i gotta hand it up to y'all bro no racism this video at least off the title at least off the title bro Dude, tomorrow's teaching has been on a consistent 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 racism streak bro so um I'm glad that y'all are finding new methods and this drink isn't racist. Just all first impressions. Doing tomorrow's teaching, there's going to be some racist shit in here. But um, apparently Saul is in this video, so let's go ahead and see. Bro, Saul called me a couple days ago. He was like, yo, I'm recording. Saul has told me how this shit worked. They almost didn't come to the shoot at first. You know what I'm saying? They was like, Saul was like he was about to leave because they was late on the shoot and shit like that. So I know Saul is in this video, so let's go ahead and see what this drink's talking about. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bingo board for y'all though. Mm, let me see. Better hope this video don't got a jump scare in it. Yeah, I'm not letting your bitch ass make it. All right, I'm gonna delete all these cards because these are the old cards. And I'm gonna send y'all the code to this bingo baker shit. Let me know if y'all are able to join. This is two-way bingo. Two-way bingo, we know that. And, um, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send the, the winner 30. Just make sure you DM me after this shit. Um, let me know this works. No spoilers, but the ending is one of the most shocking things I've ever seen in fiction. Y'all niggas say this on every Tomorrow Seasons video, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, does that work? Does that bingo baker link work? Let me know. Let me know that shit work, bro. It works. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Everybody can go ahead and hit the free space. Also, I'm changing the color on this shit. Oh, actually, it's too late. I don't give a fuck. Um, everybody go hit the free space. We're keeping the board the exact same. Two-way bingo. Uh, there's third. It's a 13-minute video, so we're going to go ahead and do how we always do, and we're going to go ahead and wait till, uh, what is, how long is this video? 13 minutes? We'll do four minutes. At every four-minute point, we'll go back to the board. So let's go ahead and start the video. Let's waste no more time. Let's get, a, uh, let's get back into the board. Do you DM on Discord? Yeah, because you DM on Instagram, we'll never see it. Coming up. On tomorrow's TV. See how crazy this intro is. Stop yapping and show us your meat, or I'm finna crash out. Hey, Sala, it's already? This is what you do with Sala? Funny thing is, this wasn't even in the script. They told this nigga to say this. He knew to say this, bro. This nigga Sala knew to say this shit, bro. First of all, in the first six seconds, it's already very, 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 very fucking ridiculous. But this nigga Sala would have said this, script or no script. I'm telling y'all, this nigga Sala would have said it, script or no script, bro. He improv. They gave, I'm telling y'all, they gave Sala no script, bro. We're going to call Sala at the end of this video, too, bro. Bro, and they, when did tomorrow's teachings ever say crash out, by the way? Y'all see how once he get, like, a, a a black nigga in there? Like, a regular black nigga? Not, like, the dude in the last video who was, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you see how he want to get a black nigga in there? Do you got to use the word crash out? This house how Sala acts in real life. Facts. They, he ain't even have to act. On tomorrow's teachings. Stop yapping and show us your meat, or I'm finna crash out. Two inches. I said, drop your pants. I wanna see how small it is. What y'all packing? I'm packing at least one. Oh my god. Is that I show speed? <laughs> Yo! This wiener's huge. What? The okay, look, 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 look. We're not even 30 seconds in, bro. The tomorrow's teaching girls got ISO speed in it too? Why? And by the way, why is he like fucked up in a crib watching that specific clip, bro? With speed pulling his dick out. Why didn't he use the Drake video? Oh, wait, hold on. I just noticed I didn't lock the Bingo Baker link. Everybody's in Bingo, right? Everybody's in Bingo, right? Everybody's in there before I lock it. Is everybody in there? Before I lock this shit. I'm, about to, I'm, I'm dead ass about to lock it. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm locking it. No. I'm gonna send the link one more time for y'all niggas to quickly, quickly join if you didn't join. But after like 30 seconds, I'm gonna like fully lock this shit, bro. Um, what y'all wanna listen to right now? I got y'all. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Make it count, play it straight. Don't head back, don't hesitate when you go big time. What you want, what you see, never man making me and you go big time. Oh, hey, hey, listen to your heart now. Hey, hey, don't you feel the rush? All right, 30 seconds has passed. Saving it. 
Um, locked. It's locked if you're not in there. It's cooked. All right, continuing. This wiener's huge. I'm like a big look. It's giant. How big do you think that is? I don't know. It's probably fake. No, that's real. Oh my god. Can we can we go outside? How big do you think that is? How big is yours? Yo. Y'all already know I'm gonna pause like yeah, gonna... 10 million times on this tomorrow season video guy. I gotta analyze all this bullshit. Girl, bro, if a girl is ever near me, my girl's with me, and she's talking about another du dude's dick. Like, say I'm with my girl, bro, or if I had a girl, and then, we, and then that Drake video popped up, and she's like, yo, did you see this? His dick's so huge. Like, he, he got a fucking six-incher. He got a ten-incher. Like, oh, my God. Like, you see the, the curvature? You see the girth on that? Bro, I'm not even going to hold you, bro, at that point in time. That whoever's meat it is, bro, they can have her, bro, because it, it don't even, like, make sense for niggas to even do that. Can we go outside? How big do you think that is? How big is yours? Go grab a ruler. I want to measure. I, I don't want to. Can you go grab a ruler? When you measure, is it base to end or is it balls to end? No it, weird it's base to end, not balls to end. You're not supposed to measure balls to end, nigga. That's you just adding fucking extra fucking book points to you. Drop them. Oh God. Hello? Oh my God. What? It's tiny. What? She never seen bro penis before? It's like two inches. Aren't they dating? What? That's normal. He's on saw. He's a grower. Are all white guys wieners this small or is it just you? Damn. You know what? I'm leaving. Look, I can't even do anything with that. Damn. Average uh, BBG chatter experience. Damn, that's actually tough. This thing about to uh, listen to Marvin's room. Yep, he definitely listened to Marvin's room, bro. Cups of the rose. He emo now. Damn, loud ass fucking transition, bro. Of course he got this nigga solo playing basketball. What else would this nigga do, bro? They see this this five foot eight Somalian nigga with a beanie on in 80 degree weather. And he like, yeah, we gonna hand you a basketball, of course, bro. Hand him the, the piece of chicken next, bro. Like, what the fuck? How many times do I think it took so long to make that? Rain, what's up, bro? Recycling the same shot, by the way. What's your name, boy? Jacob. Boy, Jacob, are you here for the right sport? You do know in basketball, the ball is supposed to go in the basket. Cheerleading tryouts are just outside. I'm just a bit rusty. I didn't have enough time to practice over summer. Excuses. Get back out on the court and give me 10 suicides. You know what I always find interesting about coaches? I know coaches and they, and most of them in their, like their, their prime and it was really doing shit and shit. But why are most coaches always fucking big as fuck? Like, Coaches will always, I always find it very, very hard to like really believe and trust in a coach who is fucking out of shape. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe that's just me, bro. But a lot of these fucking coaches is built like a fucking stack of pancakes, my nigga. Like in the, the big ones too. I ain't going to cap to you, my nigga. Like it's actually fucking ridiculous how many coaches are fucking out of shape them damn selves. But I know some of them be the best coaches. I don't know, bro. Yes, coach. Hey, Jacob. What's up, Max? How do you think you did? Niggas are asking well. what suicides is. Should practice way more through summer. Twitch, it's it's a type of exercise. It's not like they're not about to go jump off no like type shit. Same. It's okay though. We'll still make the team. We just won't be starters. Yeah, we bench warmers. Yeah. Girls have fun out there. <laughs> Man, when I was draining these threes, these niggas were painting their toes. Shut up, Dominic. I know that ain't come out of your mouth. Shit, if you trying to throw down, we could throw down. This nigga solo. First of all, bro's name is Dominic. And that is the first time I think I've heard the N word actually drop. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I they're using this nigga Sala's blackness to the highest T. This is like the I think this is the first time that I've heard that. Well, from not from a white person, we've heard a white person say it. 
We've heard like every race say it except black. I think this is the first time that I have heard a black person say the N word in the Tomorrow's Teachings franchise. Might go who they never said nigga before. I've never seen them say nigga. Using solid to say nigga. Yeah. Oh shit, that's hilarious. Girls have fun out there. <laughs> Man, when I was draining these threes, these niggas were painting their toes. Shut up, Dominic. I know that ain't come out of your mouth. Shit, we trying to throw down, we could throw down, Casper. Nah, that ain't fair. Come on, look at the kid. If Solid got the, the, the terrible tomorrow's teachings acting down to a T. He's white. He got no hands whatsoever. No way he can't fight. Shit, he can't even make a layup out there. You see the way he jumped? Boy was like, what? <laughs> like, what was that? <laughs> You know what they say, white man can't jump. <laughs> better acting? No, he Sala acts better than anybody in the Tomorrow's Teachings franchise. That's, that's a fact. Goofy, white boy. We should cut him some slap. <laughs> I already clapped his girl. What? Man, she didn't tell you? How old is that? Yo, Sally, you gotta you gotta make this one like an emo or something by Emo Hooji. Yo. Now honestly, nigga, in terms of actors, nigga saw doing better than like at least like 98% of these niggas on um in tomorrow's season. I ain't gonna cap to you. That's tough, man. Bro, I was hitting it from every position in the Isn't book. not the coach? I had her hypnotized. I had her squirming and everything. She was screaming my name, Miles, Miles, Miles. He's gonna crash. Damn! To the shit again, boy. I dare you. Allie loved me. She took this D like a champ. She was sick and tired of your little shrimp. You know what they say. Once you go black. Hey, excuse me, white so solid. Can you just look like worried? Look, look stressed. They had this nigga, yo, get my nigga Saul some more dialogue, bruh. Saul, did he tell you this? Saul in the chat, Saul, did he tell you to look, uh, look, uh, stressed? Look like the one nigga in the black meme? Yo, get my nigga, uh, let them get my nigga Saul some more dialogue. Like, come on, bro. Like, get my nigga a couple more lines. <laughs> By the way, Saul, I don't know if you heard, but you are a token, uh, you are a token black dude. They had you, they, they invite you to the shoot. They have you playing basketball. They have you already saying nigga. There's not any black person who says nigga like ever in the Tomorrow Teaching franchise. Like ever. I just want this to be known. You know what I'm saying? They had you as a token black dude, bro. You know what they say. Once you go black, you never go back. Yo, he really got a small wiener? Of course he does. He's white. All white guys got small meats. I'm kind of curious. Four minutes? Okay, bye, bye, bye. Let me see how small it is. Hello? Drop your pants. What? 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 No. I said drop your pants. I want to see how small it is. Leave me alone. Someone help me. Help. Hey, dog. Stop yapping and show us your meat. Or I'll <laughs> hey, Sala. Sala, 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 Sala. Hold on. I'm calling this nigga right now, bro. I'm calling this. Hold on. Yo, hold on, hold on. Dog. Take them draws off. Dog. Please tell me you found the nigga who writes the scripts, bro. Okay, the thing is, I signed an NDA, so I don't know how much I can talk about. Are you serious to me? You swear to God, you, you signed an NDA. Oh, God, I signed an NDA. Are you oh, fucking God, serious? Don't don't say nothing, though. Don't say nothing, then. Yeah, they... no, I ain't gonna say nothing crazy, but I'll, I'll like, okay. Just know I, I, everything I said was on the script. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, baby. Was on the script, so do what you can with that information. Okay, 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 okay. Baby, baby. I'm about to go lie. All right, baby, baby. I'm gonna say that. Say that. Okay. I didn't nothing. Everything I said was on it. So if I say yeah. Okay. Anything you say, okay, baby, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. Did they really put your ass on NDA, bro? Yeah, bro. Them niggas in tomorrow's teacher really ready to die behind this shit, bro. He can't let nobody know nothing, bro. Nah, nah, nah. But bro, what's crazy is if they sign an NDA. Remember I had one of the actresses on stream and shit? Uh-huh. She was yapping. You remember that, that one nigga I had, bro? They, the nigga was like saying shit. I don't know if it was all truthful, but the nigga was just giving information out. Nah, I think, I think, I think the NDA has to do with like, oh, like republishing the information and like, 
And I don't know some some crazy. I don't know. All I know, bro, it's that nigga on the paper, bro. It's that nigga on the paper. Bro. Are you dead ass serious? It said. I'm so dead ass. It's that nigga on the paper, bro. They they got a conversation. Nigga typing out the n word, bro. That's crazy, bro. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, wait, wait, don't say no more. Don't say no more. I don't want them niggas to come after you, bro. I mean, but then again, I will say in slave movies, they be having white niggas. Yeah, bro. I ain't trying to justify their actions, but yeah, yeah. But I right there, bro. All right, wait, wait, wait. Yo, that's crazy. I have to stop that nigga solo, bro, because if they, first of all, they were definitely using that nigga, bro. Yo, I guarantee the person who's at the top who's writing these scripts is not black. I guarantee it. Yeah, they definitely using that nigga, bro. Yo, I guarantee the person who's at the top who's writing these scripts is not black, bro. Yo, I had to, I had to chill. And let Sala, uh get off, bro, because we didn't, and he told some shit, bro. Them niggas was going to eat Sala's ass, bro. You know, tomorrow's teaching niggas, they don't play, bro. Like, niggas making niggas sound NDAs and shit, bro. Motherfuckers keep it, uh, the, the top of tomorrow's teaching, the script reader is keeping himself hidden like a fucking Cartoon Network villain. You know when the Cartoon Network character is fucking covered, you can never see their face until, like, the fucking very, very last episode, my nigga? It's like, that's the top nigga in tomorrow's teachings, bro. Let's go ahead and see uh the, the bingo board. Mm. All right. So what we got, chat? Sexual related, WTF. Um, what else? What else we got, bro? Editing mistake. What was the editing mistake? Four four five. Well, we don't we don't know that the dude is is young. We can't say four four five because we don't know if the dude is like a a jit. So we can't we can't say that. Racism. Uh, oh, cause, okay, okay. Um, where's racism at? Okay. Um, sexual related racism, cheating. Oh yeah, cheating, cheating, yep, that's definitely on there. Cheating is doubt, cheating, cheating, cheating. Where, the cheating on here, yeah, cheating. Creepy. I'm gonna give creepy too, I'm gonna give creepy too. Um, police, I haven't seen no police officer yet. WTF, down bad. Down bad. What exactly is down? What's down? Well, no, there's, 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 the nigga is trying to press the nigga out to see the meat. So I'm, I'm going to go down bad. I'm going to go down bad. I'm going to I'm gonna go down bad. Uh, I know editing mistake, we're going to wait. L plot, we're going to wait. L acting, we're going to relate. Y'all saying relatable. Relatable to who, my nigga? Relatable to who? Relatable because I got a small wiener. So because y'all have small penises... It was so relatable. So this is what happened. Y'all have small dicks and then y'all was in the bed with y'all girl and y'all girl showed you I show uh, speeds meat and then proceeded to get her cheese clapped by our coach. Like y'all could all relate to that spiritually, bro. Relatable for you. Small wee wee gang. You can relate. Yes. Who's y'all that's one guy? Y'all all saying it's relatable. So I'm just like, yeah, except it's Drake. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Everybody can hit relatable on a board. This is the board right now. Remember, you have to get double bingo. This is the board right now. I'm turning it back on the pen. This is the board right now. So go ahead and click everything. We're gonna let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and see some more, bro. I'm close. What do you mean by that? What do you what do you mean by that, bro? What what exactly do you mean by I'm close? I, I don't know. When y'all niggas be saying that, I'd be like a, a just like a tiny bit worried. I ain't gonna cap. Um, where's the fucking video at? I just lost the fucking video. Where the fuck is... Hold on real quick. I'm about to... I'm about to... I'm about to click up on this shit. I'm about to click. I'm about to click up on this shit. I'm about to click. I turn... And it turned into a crying Um, uh, okay. I'm not tripping. All right. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good, I think. Alright. Let's go, continue. When you call me! Drop your pants. I wanna see how small it is. Leave me alone! Someone help me! Help! Hey dog, stop yapping and show us your meat or I'm gonna crash out. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll show you the meat. Sala, this was a solid line. This shit was not scripted. <laughs> Sala asked to see That's the meat. smallest wiener I've ever seen, bro. Sala, you, you actually see a dick? like a peanut. Oh my god. Oh my God, bro. I would kill myself if I were you. You ain't getting no girls with that. <laughs> Yo, having someone say you should game in yourself, 
over your beat size is actually so fucking insane, bro. That pool. What? I would kill myself if I were you. You ain't getting no girls with that tap pool. Nigga took a picture. Charlotte still has the meat on his phone. <laughs> Upon Jacob's okay, return. Yeah, his dick is definitely tiny. Bro, have a Call of Duty mobile shirt. Yeah, I'm not even gonna catch it. He's definitely like packing at least one inches, bro. I ain't gonna catch him. That's on a good day. Boom. He quickly discovered that Coach Miles had shared the photos of Jacob's small vena throughout the school. That's actually weird Jacob as fuck. Devastated. Now everyone is aware of his small meat. That's actually weird as shit. Meanwhile, Jacob receives another blow when his mom calls him with devastating news. His sister. Okay, been... I'm not gonna lie. I think that might indirectly confirm that he is in high school. I think that might. I think that might confirm. I mean, he could always be in college, but like, like. Just by how it is being explained, it wasn't explained as university or college, so uh, we'll go back to the board and, and, his and think about it. When him with devastating news, his sister has been kidnapped by an unknown assailant. The news is heart-wrenching, and they fear the worst, that she may be dead. What, okay, what the fuck is going on? Week. I want you to be good. Of course I'm gonna be good. What do you mean? Silly. Well, I just like I want you to pick up. You got another you another piece of milk for y'all to go crazy like over in chat I'm not for no at reason. All. I'm gonna be clean. Don't worry about it. Okay. And no drinking. Yeah, mom. Sure. Okay. No drinking. Okay. And the number one rule: don't let anybody in the house. Okay. Not even a friend. No one. No, no. Really bad neighborhood. Okay. Chat. I want her. I know, mom. I'm not gonna let anyone in. You're fine. You can tell she on that shit. You can tell that that that's PCP. That's booger sugar. That's uh, fucking cocaine right there. I can tell. I love you. Okay. And I love you too. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Who's coughing? Hey. Chat. Hey. Chad, listen to what I'm about to say. Listen, 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 listen before you. I can't prove it. I can't prove it. I cannot prove it. I cannot prove it. But I'm pretty sure this is the nigga, the, the uh, owner of Tomorrow's Teachings. I cannot prove it. I cannot prove it. But I have a very, very high theory that this is the nigga who is the owner of Tomorrow's Teachings, bro. Now, the reason why I think that is because if you go to any of the old, old Tomorrow's Teachings video and you look at the end, this nigga is always at the end of the video and it's him and a girl. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know who this is who writes the scripts, but I have this very, very high theory that this is the nigga who runs Tomorrow's Teachings, bro. And I can't get in contact with the nigga. But I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. This, this is, I could be talking out my ass, but I have a very high theory, my nigga. So when we confirm the theory, just know I sit it right here. Hey, thanks for letting me in. She didn't let a random nigga coughing in? I was so dirty, I needed that shower. Of course, why wouldn't I let you? So she don't even know this nigga? Oh yeah, oh yeah, chat. What is happening? Hey, what's up? By the hey. way, this nigga saw said, uh, the cast is all cool though, all of them funny as hell. This channel is all supposed to be satire. Y'all see how last week Sala was saying something different and now he's saying something different, bro? They caught this nigga Sala. Sala is officially a tomorrow's teaching affiliate. They caught this nigga in the fucking Matrix. He's like, I'm not even gonna hook. They got him, bro. Now he and the yes answer like they, bro. They just texted saw you like yo. Make sure you say this shit in chat right the fuck now, bro. They texting this nigga. They got a, a fucking sniper rifle to the back of this nigga temple, bro. He can't say nothing bad about tomorrow's teachings ever again, or they suing this nigga, bro. That's how I hate to see it, bro. They got this nigga. Hey, what's up? Hey, guess what? What? There's this really cute guy in my house. Oh my god, he just got out of the shower. He's so hot. Wait, what? You have a dude over? Who? I don't know, he's just this random guy, but he's really nice. He has zero survivor Wait, skills. you let a random guy into your house? Yeah, I mean, like, he's cute, so what's the problem? Wait, but that's, like, really bad. What if he tries to hurt you or something? No, like, I trust this guy. He's not gonna do anything. Don't worry. 
Okay, well, whatever you say, hopefully. Wait, 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 wait. Do my eyes deceive me? What the fuck is happening? God, what if he tries to hurt you or something? No, like, I trust this guy. He's not gonna do anything. Don't worry. First of all, this nigga's using the force. It isn't that, like, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm still current on my tomorrow's teachings lore, tomorrow's teachings, baby, trash. Coming up. No, it, I don't think it's the same actor. I think they are, are using the same scene. Bro, that's the same nigga. Like, it, it, I, bro, I think it's the... What lore is this? The video, I'm telling y'all, bro. First of all, we have the timeline with the, the Mexican lady and then the two uh, disciples of Mexican lady and then her son that escaped from prison. And now we got this bald alien nigga that was in a tomorrow season video like a year ago. Yo, this shit kind of getting deep, bro. It's kind of like this, this kind of getting crazy. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. When did this video come out? They referenced a video that came out eight months ago. We need a game theory on this shit. I'm really saying we need an entire game theory on this, bro. What the fuck is going on? No, like, Don't I get trust time this guy. Time He's not gonna do anything. Don't worry. Okay, well, whatever you say. Hopefully you don't get killed. I'm gonna be fine. Don't worry about me. Okay, well, I'm gonna go work out and eat some sushi. Bye. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for your dad's pants. Yeah, nice. of course. They look good on you. Thanks for letting me in too. Yeah, like what happened? Why were you even out there in the first place? These crazy white people were hunting me down. They're crazy out there. They're killing all the Mexicans. What? When is the tomorrow's teaching end game gonna come out? What the fuck, nigga? So automatically that just connected the alien timeline with the Mexican killer timeline. So those timelines are confirmed to be connected. So the only separate timeline in the universe is the time travel timeline with the girl in the wheelchair who can time travel. What the fuck is going on, bro? Is creating a cinematic universe w lore what is going on bro the white people are hunting make me a down. film theory on this they're crazy out there they're killing all the mexicans what oh my god i'm so glad you're okay you basically saved me what yeah really you think so i mean i didn't have anywhere to go so yeah this is the world war three timeline i didn't even do anything i just let you in it's not that big of a deal don't worry it's the little things that matter, you know. You seem like you're a good person. Thank you. I think the same thing about you. So, are you all alone here? Where's everyone else? Yeah, it's just me here. My parents are gone. She and her survival yeah. skills are fucking awful. I, this shit. Nice. I think we'll have some fun. <laughs> yeah, you think so? So, you think it's cool if I stay here for the night? I don't really We're gonna go ahead and pause and go back to the bingo war real quick because we're on nine minutes. Um, okay. By the way, she's a fucking idiot. She's actually an idiot. I'm not even going to cap to you, bro. All right, chat. Now, what do we got? Four, four, five. Oh, I now hit four, four, five. Reoccurring actors. Who's a reoccurring actor, chat? Who's a reoccurring actor? Plot twist. Um, plot twist. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you plot twist. That is connected. That is all connected. I'll give it to you, bro. Alien dude, technically the alien dude didn't reoccur in a video, just a flashback. The gorillas taking over the world timeline into this trust. Oh, that one weird ass video? I forgot all about that video. And there's the video where they went back in the 1800s and there was a cowboy thing. There's actually a couple like timelines. Then we still don't know what happened to that one black dude, that one black boy with the dreads who shot that teacher. We still don't know what happened with that. There's a lot of things that is not like uh El Sala acting, kidnapping. Okay, kidnapping. We'll hit kidnapping too. Where's kidnapping at? We'll hit kidnapping too. Um, Sala is a reoccurring actor. Trust cap. L plot. I'm not gonna say L plot or bad audio just yet. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead. This is what we got. This is what we got right now. So everything else don't click yet. We'll wait until the end of the video. Eddie mistake. He had a typo for Wiener at the four and a half minute mark. Y'all niggas is really, really trying to get this shit, bro. If I ain't notice it, it must have not been that deep, bro. Niggas really ready to die behind this bingo shit, bro. Have you? You think so? So move out to the Mario Seasons owner. Technically, he's never acted in anything like in any of the videos, to my knowledge. Any of the videos that we've seen, I don't think he's ever acted in it, to my knowledge. So I can't, I can't give that. You think it's cool if I stay here for the night? I don't really have anywhere to go. Yeah, I think so. Sure, anything for you. It's a pretty good movie. Yeah, it is a pretty good movie. What was that? Probably no, it sounded like something. What was that? We should go check that out. You should go check that out. All right. This bitch is actually stupid. What the hell? What's happening? Bro said, where is this plot going? What about the small penis, dude? Th th I'm not gonna lie, bro. Usually at the end of the video, like, the nigga, like, penis will get superpowers or some shit. Like, and it'll end like that or something. But they just excommunicated all, like, that nigga's lore is finished. Like, that, that's the end of his fucking character development, bro. We're, I just, I'm really just noticing now that we're on an entire separate story in a different video, bro, about, her, like, the sister. What happened to the dude and his penis? Who is this nigga? Also, why in that wheelchair video there is a werewolf nigga? There's so much that doesn't make sense here, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, GG's. Bro, it's literally the same dude. That's your still that's your dad's jeans, bro. Your mom and dad. <laughs> that is possibly one of the worst acted out scenes I have ever seen in my fucking life, bro. Yo, but am I going to capture you, bro? That nigga would be an amazing linebacker. I'm not even gonna hold you. Get that nigga on. I don't know what team we need. We need that nigga on the uh the fucking Buccaneers or some shit. Dear mom and dad, I'm writing this because I can't bear the weight of my shame and sadness any longer. I want you to know that this decision has nothing to do with you. You've always been there for me. I've been drowning in a sea of humiliation and despair. I'm nothing more than a joke. My self-esteem is shattered. Please don't blame yourselves for what I'm about to do. What are you about this to do? This is my choice. My way of ending the pain. Is cons I'm about to say something super fucked up. But I'm going to keep this out with y'all, bro. If you ever are even considering ending your life because your dick is small, I actually, actually need you to look in the mirror Look in the mirror again, my nigga. And then do what you... No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Nigga, you should never end your life over your meat ties, bro. Come on, my nigga. Let's tie, let's tie it up just a little bit, bro. That's not a green screen. This is my choice. My way of ending the pain has consumed me for far too long. I love you more than Somebody said do a express. flip. Come on, bro. This shoe dirty as shit. Jacob? Are you here to beat me up or something? Because you don't need to. I'm killing myself. Jacob, get down from there. Leave me alone. Get off me. What are you doing? What does it look like? Bro, you better like hell. I'm ending it. No, this you can't do that. One girl threw the cat off. It Jacob, definitely is. I'm sorry. I didn't know I affected you this much. You made fun of me for having a small wiener. And he clapped his girl. And then you guys showed the whole school. And he clapped his girl. And he clapped his girl. Ugh. Don't forget that. He clapped your girl. I what I was thinking. This is all my fault. I should be the one jumping off of a bridge. Of course not. Yeah, I made fun of you for something you can't... 
what the fuck is this like what the fuck is this plot what it what the fuck is really going on in this video bro w character development it, it took this motherfucker almost game ending himself for him to have some kind of character development. Can we not just mention that this nigga is probably one of the worst niggas in the franchise? Well, to be honest, there's a whole bunch of niggas worse than him. But, bro, he, first of all, he deep pants this nigga, showed everybody's meat. First of all, he looked at his meat, then made fun of his dick, then uh took a photo of his meat, then sent it to a whole bunch of minors, then allegedly clocked his girl, which is bros in high school, I'm assuming that, you know what I'm saying, this nigga might be on 445 time, and so this nigga is not a good person, bro. Control. That's horrible, man. I'm sorry. Look, can I be honest with you? Yeah. Me and Allie only went on a date just one time, and we didn't even do anything. You know, I only said all that to be cool. How old are and you? And the reality is, I have a small wiener, too. Really? Yeah. I, I swear to God, he asked to see it. And I lash out on students like you. I didn't know the damage I could do. I thought you were going to kill yourself. Well, I was. What the fuck? What is this? It's okay. I forgive you. Really? Yeah, man. Inch off, they go inch range. They're not going inch range. Hey everyone, this is Miles Morals, the best Bro's name is Miles Mor- Hey everyone, this is Miles Morals, the basketball coach from Twin Peaks High School, and I just- I do, hi! I told y'all, bro, I told y'all he's a freak! I told y'all he's a freak! I told you this is a fucking freak, why is nobody pointing this out, bro? Hey everyone, this is Miles Moore. I just say, where's Solid's character go? They use that nigga Miles just for the basketball. Bro, they just use Solid for the basketball and for the uh, N word pass, bro. Morals, the basketball coach from Twin Peaks High School. And I just want to let everybody know I have a small wiener too. And I'm proud of it. See? Who cares? So what if we have small wieners? We should be thankful for the body that God gave us. You're right. Small wiener gang. Small wiener game. Miles? Jacob? What are you guys doing here? None of your business. Why don't you just get lost? Sorry, are you in that game? Okay. You gonna do anything about this? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, 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 okay. I do. I really gotta stop watching these videos, bro. I I really 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 have to stop watching these videos, bro. Talk. So let's recap. Girl calls her boyfriend. First of all, gets caught watching ISO speed. Flexes ISO speeds meet. Makes fun of her boyfriend's meet. Boyfriend then uh walks out the house. Goes to play basketball. Bricks every shot. Sala in this coach calls his meet small. Asks to see his meet. Looks at his meat, makes fun of his meat, takes a photo of his meat. His mom randomly calls the son, whose meat is small, randomly, out of fucking nowhere, about his sister who got kidnapped. And then we get into a B-plot that I don't know what the fuck, like, what the fuck that recap was, or wh where that B-plot is. We get into this fucking B-plot, uh, this fucking flashback of this girl letting this random ass, Rico Suave looking ass nigga in her house for absolutely no reason, for no reason at all. Then later in the fucking middle of the night, by the way, then that alien shit was in there for some fucking reason. Then in the middle of the fucking night, the fucking sister 
gets fucking lineback tackled by like Marshawn Lynch or some shit like that. Then we go back to the fucking A plot. This nigga's about to fucking game at himself over his meat being fucking small. Then he, when he's about to do it, this nigga, fun, this coach suddenly gets a fucking boost of character development and suddenly decides that he shouldn't do it and that he even missed that his meat small. And by the way, he went on a date with a high schooler and nobody seems to care. And at the end of this shit, they all raise hands and say kumbaya and say my meat is small, tiny wiener gang. And then she proceeds to throw the bitch who called the nigga's meat small off the bridge. What the fuck is this, nigga? Nigga, what the fuck are we watching? How did life get like this, nigga? How do we all collectively just decide to come to this stream today? How did I come here, sit here, and all decide that we gonna watch this video, bro? What the fuck is this video, bro? What is this? So now that not only is this nigga EDP, he is a literal fucking murderer, all because the nigga's meat is small. I need to stop watching this shit, bro. This shit be raising my blood pressure up, bro. Sorry, what did you say to me, Shrimp? You gonna do anything about this? Well, I guess we won't be seeing her again. If they start kissing, I, I swear to God, I end stream. What did I join too? Holy shit, holy shit, man. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't stream anymore, bro. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Yo, I, I'm not built for this stream and shit no more, bro. I'm not built for this stream and shit, bro. I can't, I, I can't do this shit, bro. I can't do this shit. What's the fucking correlation, bro? How the fuck did we get here, bro? There's so much wrong with what just happened in this past 30 seconds, bro. Yo, I can't watch this shit no more, bro. Yo, how much we got in this video? We got like fucking a couple. Yo, I can't. I cannot watch this. I physically cannot watch this shit no more, bro. I cannot watch. This might. I might go lie. This might be one of the worst constructed plots these niggas have ever brought. Like, this not even going in top five for the like craziest videos. This is not like this shit is just fucking ass. Like, this is like one of the worst plots I think I've ever seen in fucking fiction, bro. I got fucking hair in my mouth. Bullying can cause serious Shut damage. the fuck up, you Rick Ross body built Bitch. Don't tell me to watch no no video like this again, bro. Don't tell me to watch no video like this again, bro. With this trash ass. Dude, somebody should have told me the plot was this ass, bro. This is the worst plot I have seen in tomorrow's teachings fucking history. I fucking said it. This is the worst plot I have ever fucking seen on tomorrow's teachings fucking history, my nigga. We, nigga, this is 40. We, we made this video 43 minutes. This is a 43 minutes of my life. I will never fucking get back, bro. The MFS back in time and they come back and the gorillas have taken. I never thought they was able to make a worse constructed video than that fucking clan video from the last shit, bro. That, like, I'm, I'm, and niggas think I'm joking or this shit's funny. I'm, I'm genuinely fucking pissed off, bro. Let's choose kindness and respect. Because everyone deserves to be treated with dignity and compassion. What's up, guys? This is all oh, my tomorrow's <laughs> teachings. We hope you guys learned something okay, yeah. from our new Just video. get this fucking Finny um, and Ferb looking ass nigga ain't here too, bro. Why not? Like, we we ain't getting up this nigga. Have Fuck this nigga Patreon. Where, where's the board at, bro? Where's the board, bro? Finish this shit. Uh, murder. Uh, L plot. L acting. Um, 
fucking was there an actual lesson fuck no who got bingo bro somebody get bingo who who has it who has it zen said he has bingo i don't know if that was the first nigga to say it or not but zen, it looked like zen got bingo uh so I'm, I'm gonna go look that up bro One, two, three, four, five. Hope this dono helps for all you win. That's two way bingo. There you go, Zen. Zen, that's you. Rambling. The insanity. Zen, that's you. Yo, Carpet, thank you for that 10. I appreciate you, man. Carpet, thank you, bro. How close were y'all? Like, did y'all get it? How close were y'all, bro? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 we never got editing mistake. We never got editing mistake. W snitch. You don't have to, you do not have to ban him or time him out at all, but we never, ever, 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 ever click editing mistake. Ever. Nigga said I saw it, but not gonna lie, I wasn't gonna snitch. Yo, y'all be with you, nigga, some snitch ass niggas, bro. Y'all niggas some snitch ass niggas, bro. Yo, I can't, I feel like I can't even go back to see who got it. Well, uh, chat, am I ain't gonna lie, we're in a bit of a pickle. Uh, somebody do me a favor and go back to when we first just hit this board now and see who, like, said bingo first, because I cannot go back that far. And I do not, now I do not know who has, uh, who got bingo. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. We're at that point in time, bro. Um, me neither. Hold on, let me see. It's too late to clip. Okay, uh, plugs don't touch this, by the way. I have a way for us to see it. Plugs don't touch this. Plugs do not touch. If y'all watch this on YouTube, come to the stream, because I'm cutting half this out, because I cursed like shit in this video. I might even want to cap to you. Tomorrow's season, don't put no bullshit out like this ever again, bro. Reoccurring actors, the coach was in the gorilla vid. Don't put no bullshit out like this again. I right, BG. All right. Um, was he? I don't, I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take that recording that I just recorded, and now we're going to go ahead and see who has bingo that way. Uh, hold on. Let's see who has bingo, bro. Let's see who has bingo, bro. Like, this shit, Chad, this shit just... Oh, somebody clipped it. Um, fucking... Okay, Zen says I got bingo. What? Crash. That was the next nigga who said he got bingo. Saul is calling me. Hold on. Yo. Um, Seeing that masterpiece, I think we're all like wondering when are you gonna be on tomorrow's teachings, bro? To t tomorrow's teachings, I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. If I ever see the nigga in tomorrow's teachings, bro, I need to have a sit down conversation with the nigga. It's like it's, it has to be locked in at this point, Sala. Because they're, they're all, bro, real odd jokes inside, they're all like actual funny people. I'm not gonna lie, but um, wait, what role would you see yourself playing, bro? They need to get me in the Tomorrow Teaching Cinematic Universe, nigga. Like, I need to be the Thanos of the universe or some shit like that. Because I see what these niggas trying to do. I see, already see the plot. Them niggas need to... Chat, what role can y'all see me doing in Tomorrow's Teachings? They need to get me in, as, as Thanos, the Thanos of the universe, my nigga. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I could see you, like, being in, like, the zoo or some shit, bro. What the fuck, nigga? That's why they had you, like, like doing the basketball and shit. That's, in bananas, that that's why they had you doing the basketball. I'm surprised you didn't, like, add the chicken and watermelon and shit. I ain't gonna cap. You should have had the role for the last uh, nigga in the last video. Dude, nigga, I'm mad they got me playing the zest you and it was two bad bitches on set, bro. What? Nigga, what bad bitches were in the video? Who are you talking about? Nah, you remember the, the one where they just cut off to a whole nother scene with that with that dude with the, the, the with, bro shit? the you talking about the white girl with the fucking booty shorts? Yes, nigga. Nigga, she was not bad. Okay, maybe I'm just a nook man, but nigga, I, to me she was bad. Nigga, I would hit those, bro. Bro, so you was only on set for, like, the, the time with the other niggas, with the two dudes? Yes, nigga. Bruh. Oh, oh, oh another, another thing you gotta also realize, the coach... <laughs> actually, I don't know if I can talk. The don't, don't, no, 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 don't, don't say nothing, don't say, don't say nothing, because you say something, you know he will get you. I how much I can actually talk about it. Uh, but, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, yeah, no, okay, and now, bro, I, no, um, so did ask one of the main reasons why I signed up for tomorrow's teachings. My nigga, I went in a row with the bitches, bro. Bruh, you, would you do it again? Yeah, I would. But like, if, but like, if I get it, if, if I was to ever do it, I need like, I need hoes low key compliments in here, bruh. Nigga said, was he actually gay? Nigga said, how much you got paid? You didn't get paid okay, none for okay. that. Okay, was he actually gay? I think I can talk about this. 
Because I saw bro's Instagram. That's all I'm going to say. Wait, who y'all saying by y'all? Who do y'all mean by y'all? Who's actually gay? Oh. oh you talking about me? Hell no, nigga. Oh, no. oh you're... Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Keep, keep moving. Right, I'm going to talk to him about giving you a potential, like, zoo roll where you're scratching. I don't your, want a zoo roll, like, bro. eating bananas. What? I didn't even... Yo, this thing is so weird. I, I, I don't know if y'all understood and up, picked up what Sala was saying. But I picked it up. I ain't gonna hold you. I won't say it out loud because I don't think I was supposed to know that. But um, four, four, five cheating, racism, murder, WTF, free cheating, down bad, L acting, sex related. Okay, this nigga got it. No, this nigga got it. yep. L acting, free cheating, down bad, four, four, five racism. Yeah, this nigga got it. This nigga got it, bro. So crash. Uh, you can DM me. You can DM me. Uh, DM me your cash tag and then after stream, I got you, bro. How close are y'all, bro? How close? I know we didn't technically finish the board, but shit, it's like at this point, like, chat. Where does that video rank for y'all? Where did that tomorrow's teaching video rank for y'all, bro? Check my board. I was cooked from the start. Let me see. Check my board. I was cooked from the start. I was one away. One. I got hold. One more for triple bingo. This is carpet's board. Oh yeah, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. You wasn't getting that shit. Yeah, there was no way you was getting it. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. That that was tough. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That's that's tough. Top one tomorrow's teaching video, and then top one and pissing me the fuck off, bro. I just I don't I don't even get it, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, but hey, there we go with tomorrow's teachings, bro. Okay, uh, I know I said it was gonna be a short stream, and usually we would end right now, but I want to go ahead and watch two more reactions before we call it a night. Um. We're going to watch a Tommy and a G video, and then there's one video y'all recommended me. So uh, I'll be right back in like 30 seconds, and then we're going to go ahead and watch this Tommy uh, and a G video, bro. So let's, um, let me, hold on, hold on. Um, let me make sure my shit is working, bro. All right, I'll be right back. Both said bait break. Team of items, bro. You literally just be sitting there for who knows fucking how long. All right. Um, this next video is called "The Power of Nostalgia" by Tommy and Energy. Can we listen to Luna? Came out. Uh, we're not gonna listen to any more music tonight, but maybe uh next stream, bro. Maybe next stream. Um, okay. The Power of Nostalgia. Let's go ahead and see what the fuck going on with Tommy Energy's video. Uh, chat. Name something nostalgic, something that's from your childhood that you remember vividly, bro. That if you watched it now, it'll be like. It'll be some nostalgic type shit. What's something so powerful it can take you back to a feeling you haven't had in years? Money? Old no. Cartoon Network. No. Old Fame? Nickelodeon. No, no, no. 
that discreet massage place down the street if you slide them 20 bucks under the table nostalgia the world lives in why would a list people wanting to escape to the if y'all was watching me when i had that uh list in the in the um in the brick walls bro i can't even watch none of my old videos back legally just because of that y'all get bbg nostalgia bro pass scratching and clawing the walls to be taken back to a time BBG which was yard oh sale so when? but was it really a time that was actually better or is it just all in our head nostalgia can be a time where looking back at whatever it was a lot of things were actually genuinely better for example cartoon network drake Fact. big chickens specifically when they were one dollar you joe biden let me go ahead and say a prayer for us to get this back <clears throat> excuse me donald, donald trump, trump if you can hear us. us other times nostalgia is a feeling no different than horniness an illusion like love something that doesn't exist i know that firsthand something that reminds you of a past which your brain matches with good times like you could have had the worst childhood ever and been a child labor slave getting paid two cents a day but you remember peak cartoon network times and that cancels out everything bad that ever happened i can't bring up nostalgia without dimension of our favorite childhood networks the big three of this our was that nigga this is the big three chat does anybody not think that Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Disney Channel was the, was not the big three? I don't know a single nigga who grew up. If you are if you are in this chat right now, and you tell me right now that you did not grow up watching all three of these, I don't think you had a childhood, my nigga. Disney is not the big three. Who the fuck is in the big three if it's not Disney? Nigga, fuck the big three. Nigga, it's just Big Me. And by Big Me, I mean it's Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network is on top. I ain't gonna cap. But this is the this is the big three. Replace I didn't grow up. I didn't have cable. I mean that's valid, Dad. Disney Channel is better than Disney XD. I'm gonna keep it a sack, chat. I'm gonna keep it a sack. Disney XD has some fire shows, but if you if you are asked to name some Disney XD fire shows, what are you gonna say, right? Lab Rats, um, kicking it. Um, you probably might say fucking like Zeke and Luther or Perry Kings. I guess you might say that. You might. Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls is a Disney Channel show though. It was might have been on Disney XD, but Gravity Falls is a Disney Channel show though. Like little do y'all know, Kids, Kick Matowski is a Disney XD show, bro. Um, walk the prank, nigga. Name five episodes from Walk the Prank right the fuck now, bro. Boomerang over Disney. Boomerang was literally just Cartoon Network, like older Cartoon Cartoon Network, bro. That's just me, bro. Hood generation. And if anyone's asking, Disney Channel's definitely the okay, Jacob. With these three networks here. dominating kids' childhoods for damn near three to four decades, it seems like every generation has a different cutoff to when they feel nostalgic for it. If you ask someone in Gen Z, they'll probably say the early 2010s is their cutoff. You ask a millennial, they'll probably say the mid to late 2000s is their cutoff. But at least we can all agree that 2015 and up, all three networks put up a combined net worth of Celtic Shack, a net worth of a blockbuster store in 2020. When I saw Jake Paul, y'all even Channel, remember I Blockbuster? But the weird thing about nostalgia is that there's kids out there who grew up with the new stuff when I stopped watching that are nostalgic for it. And now, if I hate on the shows, I'm no different than the boomers that hate on anything past the 90s. So let's yeah. not hate on change, but embrace and welcome. The That's why I don't try to hate on none of y'all shows like that, except uh, well, Uncle Grandpa wasn't one of y'all shows, but I hate on that shit every time. And then uh, Clarence, I don't hate on Clarence. I just be confused by by like how like niggas was fucking with it, but also I've never watched it. But what's a show that is nostalgic for y'all that probably wouldn't be nostalgic for me? Probably like it'll probably be regular show for y'all, right? That's probably what y'all was watching when y'all grew up. I watched regular show like when I was in like middle school, high school type shit. But y'all was probably like kids when like regular show like was coming out. You ever watch Spider Wick Chronicles? Nah, I've that never heard of that. Fire late two thousand. Adventure Time Two. Clarence A K to my bows the K. We bear bears. The Kia boys, we're gonna watch that video another day, probably next stream. What about the new Kia eras boys of video? this channel and they're amazing? Game Shakers? I remember that show. Uh, I almost believed that a lot myself. Who do I look like? Mr. Beast? That shit is ass. But how do we get to the point where we're not blinded by nostalgia and determine something new is actually bad? The main step is determining overall how people feel about it and actually is the only step you need. Like for any of our childhood networks, we know that shit is ass because the viewership was low. And kids nowadays are using TikTok instead and watching streamers as their entertainment. Tomorrow. But then I can sit here and wholeheartedly defend the time I grew up with because anybody watch me on a TV like the early 2010s was way more solidified early 2010s on Cartoon Network. You still had your regular shows Adventure Times Amazing World of Gumballs for Disney. You still had your Phineas and Ferbs Jesse's Gravity Falls dog with a blog. Actually, that was an accident forgot to take it up for Nick You had your eye car with a blog wasn't bad. It's just kind of forgettable. I ain't gonna catch you also Gravity Falls is like a top five Disney show by the way
properly. Nego, thank you for another races, for all the donos. Big time rushes, and this is just to name a few of all okay, these. And all these Russia shows all years later members. are solidified and nostalgic for the kids that watch them. Even the commercials from the past are nostalgic now. Like, who knew we would be nostalgic over a insurance company's commercials mm. every kid had a crush on flow or mm, i did not what the hell me. every time a progressive commercial popped up i don't know what was happening in my pants but something was you had the goldfish commercials goldfish. the zoo pals yep. the reese's Pillow pets, nigga, all those. the fushigi and that Fuck one shirley temple commercial hell like, yeah who even is this I still don't know a single person who bought her limited edition DVD collection for two payments of $24.99. Okay, I'm off track. My point is nostalgia tube is tune. so powerful that it even- I want a tube tune so bad, the toothbrush that will play music while you're brushing your teeth and shit like that. I wanted that shit so bad. I don't even know if that shit worked makes commercials that are solely made to profit a business make you feel something. But the problem with this testicular grip of nostalgia is that companies see this and rub their hands like Mr. Krabs. Every time there's a reboot announced of a beloved childhood TV show or movie, my first thought immediately is, God, please. Please don't let them f*** this up. And why is it almost every time it ends up coming out, it's the most disappointing piece of trash ever. Disney doesn't even need to make new movies now because they know if they make a reboot of something old, people will come regardless. Like, did y'all know- They can say how much lag time are you on, chat? I ain't gonna cap. Every, the, the big three, all them be doing this shit. Who's the worst when it comes to rebooting shit? Because Cartoon Network has rebooted the Powerpuff Girls, Teen Titans, Ben 10, and that's just the things that I can say off the top of my head. They rebooted like 10 more, like I can't even name. Uh, Disney reboots like every single fucking Disney movie to ever exist has gotten a live action at this point in time. And they're still not done yet. It's like every single fucking movie of all time. They even reanimated DuckTales. A new DuckTales came out a couple years ago, bro. Uh, Nickelodeon, like probably the least niggas who do it, but they have rebooted the Rugrats made uh, the Loud House into a fucking live action show like them niggas doing it too all the big three companies know that they low-key ain't on top no more bro so they just keep rebooting shit bro okay but uh DuckTales was fire uh the new one was the new one fire though I don't know I, I never watched that joint bro um Nick is horrible for keeping Spongebob alive still why did they reboot uh Rugrats when I when I was um in the house um I turned on the TV one day if you look on Paramount Plus they have a new Rugrats on there bro like that shit's actually fucking insane. Ken Plaslow. Oh, they made Black a Jack, Pinocchio Church, reboot? Child, I never even Charlie watched Brown. the original. And it Sandra sounds like Ryan they Jack. went to the nearest gay bar Early and chose Spongebob. a random dude as Regular the voice show. actor. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? That's not real, bro. That's not real. That's not real. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? That's not, that's not for That has to be like AI or some shit like that. It is. <laughs> Father, when can I leave to be on my own? <laughs> oh shit, bro. Slide if they the full trailer is bad, Zesty. What's that shit called? Lions Gate? There's no way that shit is real. Hold on. Lions. <laughs> what can I leave and be about old? Uh, oh, it's Pinocchio. There you go. Now, what should we name you? Maybe Leonardo. No, he'd grow up to be a turtle who and that's only Pinocchio? cares about pizza. I don't believe my eyes. Your name will be Pinocchio. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? <laughs> I've got the whole world to see. You are too special, Pinocchio. The world is full of people who could harm you. The Timeless Story. Our last few shows barely had any audience. We just need to come up with a new ad. Ooh, come on! You thought you knew. Holy loud ass trailer. She's for the clip. She's gonna fall. Hold on. <laughs> Senorina. Holy oh, fuck. <laughs> Are you made of wood? You will become a star, my boy. I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of the worst like listings for fucking like voice actors I've ever heard in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, like it's like the voice actors don't even gotten in them no more, bro. It looks like our wooden Romeo is in love with Bella. Did you seriously think that you no, nigga, and Bella? That nigga fucking in love with Bartholomew, my nigga. <laughs> that 
is a fairy. Her name is Lucilda. I'm sure she could turn you into a real boy. Let's go, Timbo. Great adventures away. Take the adventure. I did want to see the world, but I realized she <laughs> is the most beautiful thing the world has to offer. Nigga, who is this nigga's actor, bro? Who's bro's voice actor? No strings attached. Pinocchio is not just a puppet, <laughs> he's a miracle. And miracles are priceless. That went straight over It's actor kind of funny, bro. Featuring the voices of Polly Shore. I'm made out of high quality material. John Heater. I promise to look after him at all times. And Tom Kenny. I just need you, Pinocchio. Whoa. Pinocchio, you'll be a star someday, no doubt. Even the the uh, fucking female actor is fucking. I mean, well, actress is fucking ass, bro. Pinocchio, you'll be a star. You no, know, like what the fuck? Don't need another human performer. I need a talking puppet. The actor SpongeBob that is not that Tom Kenny. Has, I, that must be a different nigga. Pinocchio, a true story. Gotcha. You've only seen my good side, but now you'll see my bad side. <laughs> Chad, my Hayden. In my hating or the, is the voice acting like extremely, extremely ass? I might, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm hating, bro. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know, bro. Oh, no. Yeah. I feel like people will let these reboots slide if they drop the good new movies with them, but as we know, that definitely ain't happening. One of the main reboots I never understood what was this with oh. them, but as we know, that def. It's crazy, cop. Never watched any of these fucking movies, bro. Not a single one of them. Definitely ain't happening. One of the main reboots I never understood from Disney is the Lion King. Like, did we really need a reboot of the Lion King? The Lion King. I heard the, really I heard the Lion King old. reboot was good though. Every oh, word a live action movie. Celebrity they could think of to make sure it did good. Just look at the cast: Beyonce playing Nala, Seth Rogen playing Pumbaa, Michael Key playing Kamari. They even had a Chance the Rapper. It's rare nowadays <laughs> a reboot hits the mainstream and everyone goes, "Wow, that was actually needed and pretty enjoyable, even better than the original." Like, when's the last time you said that about a reboot? you watched i could probably count on my hands the amount of reboots i've actually mm, that's a good and the question reason why studios be pumping out these reboots is because they know people will eat them up regardless specifically gen z and millennials i think gen z has nigga i'm telling y'all wait till they start rebooting the studio uh ghibli shit when he started rebooting uh fucking my neighbor totoro and, and fucking ponyo and, and shit like that then that niggas really will be sick when he start rebooting that shit but shit maybe maybe that shit will be hard but like Niggas really gonna be sick when niggas start rebooting that shit and, and uh they got fucking um some other studio doing this shit. He got Cloverworks doing there or some shit like that. Or he got fucking uh Mappa doing this shit. The nostalgia curse the worst though. At this point, I've seen everything become nostalgized and become an aesthetic in some type of way. Like y'all niggas will see a minute of footage from kids in schools in the 90s and think you grew up in the wrong time. Please be serious. Meanwhile, you can't last five minutes without having your phone. Nowadays, I've even seen it for times in the 2010s do you mean high school 2019 nostalgia i was in high school at that time and there was nothing nostalgic about it's like the more i see people get nostalgic for something the less time it takes to happen i even see tiktoks of kids getting nostalgic over 2021 my that was three years ago you acting like you were eight years old when it was going on actually that makes sense for the average tiktok age music nowadays has also been getting this massive nostalgia effect and i'm not talking about people just listening to older music that's something we all do but specifically the rise of vinyls and cds and all these olden ways to play music. I mean, it looks cool and all to have as a collection. Honestly, I would cop some. But let's be real, you're not popping out the record player every time you there want to. There was no nostalgia of 2016. The 2016, I feel like there's a little bit of nostalgia with 2016, chat. There was a, like, in 2016, 2017, the SoundCloud era, I got nostalgia from them, bro. I ain't gonna cap. feel something that was popular in the past. Like how vintage cameras started taking over again, too. But funnily enough, the only times I don't see people over nostalgizing things super fast is music. Music ain't been the same since TikTok hit the airways, which is yeah. why I can see the resurgence of all the old <laughs> trending again. Like, nobody's about to go, you remember that one Roxanne TikTok song? Ah, <sighs> good time. That's Roxanne is crazy. Chad, you know a nigga that I haven't seen in a little bit? That nigga Steve Lacey. Now, that nigga Steve Lacey was big before TikTok. But now that nigga, like, when he spawned on TikTok, that I wish I knew you wanted me. Oh, After that, I feel like TikTok low-key, like, made that nigga worse off in his career than he was before. I might go cap to you, bro. I don't know if that is that nigga is, is that nigga still dropping shit, bro. I know he was like he was like for the low key niggas before 
Uh, um, that sounds that sounds crazy because Steve Lacey is, you know. But like, that's not what I mean. But like, it, it was. I know Steve Lacey is like for the, like more like reserve type niggas beforehand. But now I really don't hear nothing from that nigga, bro. To something like a dance anthem. That's what'll heal the world—a dance anthem. In the 2010s, we had dance anthems coming out left from right. Everybody was trying to learn how to hit the Dougie. Psy had niggas hitting the Gangnam Style in the school lunch lines. We were all oh, yeah, at a concert. Nene trying to get it to a T. Like, what happened to the fun music and rap? Chat was a TikTok artist that fell off. Like, can y'all have fun again? Damn. We need a new dance anthem ASAP, and no, I don't want it from Drake. I think the last yeah, rap dance anthem we genuinely got is. The thug shit. I feel like thug nowadays shit. you can tell when a song I my nigga Brandon doing good. Red just to go viral on TikTok. And I feel like before songs were considered more Corvette, the Corvette, songs, nigga. you would always hear it in the radio in the car as a kid. The 2010 bangers just had some sort of magic to them. Felt like every song that was big was bred to be big for Didn't people Steve to enjoy Lacey time. Which is different Kendrick? from a song bred to go on viral on TikTok. Let me explain it. A song bred for the radio is like that Five Guys burger you could get that's gonna make you go bankrupt. But you will be enjoying every bite. And a song bred for TikTok is like that $2 McDouble from McDonald's that'll make you have diarrhea two hours later. But you'll enjoy it for the time though. Video games have also always had a nostalgic pull to them, which I mean makes sense. But they definitely have the worst brute of it from nostalgia because it seems like every time a new edition of a classic game comes out no matter how good it is you're gonna have the super fan inspectors going uh, the game isn't up to par with a classic mm, give me a new one like, you can enjoy the game damn i remember when og fortnite came back and you dead ass had people mad because it wasn't the actual og map buddy have you seen the original og map you could land at like two places people also say yeah like i bro niggas gotta realize bro Shit not gonna be fucking perfect in these, like, um, in these new, like, fucking old reboots type shit, bro. It's not gonna be the exact same. Because niggas would get mad if it was the exact same. Gaming ain't the same or nothing good's coming out. Which I've definitely said, I won't lie. But if you're sitting there rotating the same three or four games, then no shit is gonna be boring for you. Like, you can actively play the old games you like if you want. It's not like you're bound by only the new games and can't do anything else. But you notice that every time you boot up one of your classic childhood games, you end up dropping it pretty fast. Like, you'll be super hyped and thinking all the amazing memories you're gonna make again only to realize that you were simply blinded by nostalgia it's kind of like that meme where you hop on like i want to play all the pokemon games over again bro but i don't know if i'm uh, i don't know if i'll like low-key fuck with it bro you can unban him you can just time out for a long time i don't know if i'm gonna end up like fucking with it bro you know what i'm saying like i low-key want to play all the pokemon games over again. minecraft server with your homies for like two weeks and then just drop it and game companies know the amount of moolah they can make because of nostalgia and always take advantage of it <clears throat> Nintendo, which I think has become a problem overall for every industry and in that they're too scared to do something new. Like the reason why we feel no new games are coming out is because no one wants to take the risk. Music is dead now because everyone's trying to sound the same. The suits above have to follow the money no matter what. But I want to wrap it up by saying nostalgia is an amazing feeling, but just don't always dwell on the past. Mm. Because if you only focus on things that make you nostalgic, then nothing you see new will ever satisfy you. So give Teen Titans Go a chance. It really isn't as bad as people. <laughs> okay, I can't even say that seriously. You get the point of the video, right? Goodbye. Follow me on. I'm gonna pass on that. But hey, shout out to y'all, Teen as Titans always, Go, tight niggas. And until next time, I'm out. That was a good video from Tommy and FG, bro. I might want cap to you. Um, it's really on some type timing where it's kind of hard not to get caught up in nostalgia, bro. But like. It's insane. Uh, sometimes, bro, I miss it, bro. Sometimes I miss how it used to be, bro. Nostalgic to shit from 2019. Chat, wait, when were y'all born? When were y'all born? That was a good video. When were y'all born, chat? Um, when were y'all born? 2008? Damn. 2002? 2006? 2002, 2005? 08? 08? 06? 04? And there's a lot more of y'all 04 niggas uh, than I thought. Um, 2005? 2003? 2010? 2008? 2003, damn, a lot of y'all are, some of y'all are older than I thought I might want to have to you. 2008, 2011, damn! <laughs> damn, nigga! Damn, nigga! Nigga said 2011, damn! Who the fuck's in 2017? 1995. Damn, nigga! Bro, fucking apply for social security, bro. 2024, okay, alright. Um, 2011, 2009, 1995, uh, 2030. 1930, okay, all right, 2006 gig. I'm a young kid, y'all, I'm not old. 
All right, let's watch this last video chat, and then I really gotta go because um I'm low key running out of time. I sh low key shouldn't be watching this last video, but fuck it. Uh, Strange's last meal request on Death Row. When do y'all recommend me this? So let's see the Strange's meal request. If you was on Death Row, what would you request? I would request um. I, I don't fucking know. I'm gonna keep it aside. About to turn I don't know. Next week and in some states in America and other America. countries with legal capital punishment, there exists an interesting custom for criminals on death row. The infamous I would not order fried convicted chicken. Convicted felons are granted the opportunity to select any food and drink of their choice within certain regulations on the eve of their execution. Nigga said ice spice, lotto, pink panthers, booty juice, one liter. Here are some of the strangest meals ever recorded. Number 20, Victor Harry Fagger. In 1963, 28-year-old... Who? 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 That's his name, bro. That's his name. That's his name. That's literally, bro, yo, Twitch. That is dead at, like, it's literally his name, bro. That is literally his name, bro. There's no way that's how that's pronounced. There, there's no way, bro. Victor Harry Fager was sentenced to death by hanging for convicted kidnap murder. There's for no way that's how that's video, pronounced. The man had only one request, a single olive with the pit left in. After his execution, the olive pit was found inside Fager's suit pocket. Please stop saying his last name, bro. That he intended to be buried alongside it so that the olive tree symbolizing peace would sprout from his grave. For a dangerous criminal, it's almost a touching sentiment. Number 19, Gerald Lee Mitchell. Gerald Lee Mitchell's final meal was even sweeter than Fagger's, but in an entirely different sense. As he awaited his final moments on death row, Mitchell had only one thing on his mind when it came to his final meal, an assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers candy. After mm. finishing the entire bag before facing the final curtain, it's safe to say this criminal intended to go out on a real sugar high. Number 18, Lawrence Russell Brewer. While well, some have a clear idea of Damn! The last oh no, that's not that nigga! Others are totally spoiled for choice. Taking full advantage of this unusual opportunity, convicted killer and white supremacist Lawrence Russell Brewer decided to indulge in an enormous feast in 2011. He requested two fried chicken steaks with gravy and onion, a triple bacon cheeseburger, Damn. a cheese omelet with ground beef, Damn. tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and jalapenos. This nigga was eating good as shit! See, that's, this motherfucker got the right idea. Motherfucker ordered a single olive. This nigga got the right fucking idea, bro. You gonna go out, bro. Eat good. Three fajitas, a meat feast pizza, a bowl of fried okra, a pound of barbecued meat with half a loaf of white bread, peanut butter fudge with crushed peanuts, and a pint of bluebell ice cream. All washed down with three root beers. And a final screw you to the justice system, though. Brewer refused to eat a morsel when the order arrived, claiming that he wasn't hungry. Texas Senator John Whitmire was so furious that he decided to ban the last meal request in the state, so future death row prisoners have Lawrence Russell Brewer to blame for regular prison slop. Damn, niggas Number can't 17. eat good, how you say? Well, I mean, if you are on death row, you're probably fucking horrible, but damn, my boys can't get good eats because of that? John Wayne Gacy. I remember this motherfucker. Another felon who capitalized on his last meal request was the notorious serial killer John Wayne Gacy, otherwise known as the Killer Clown Pogo. For his final supper, Gacy ordered 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of original recipe KFC, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. Prior to his conviction, Gacy mm. had managed three KFC restaurants in his home of city. Of course, his Waterloo, big ass did. And he clearly never got tired of that finger licking goodness. Number 16, John Spinkelink. For some what are these niggas' last names? Yo, you could tell, like, motherfuckers' name is, is John Spank Spankalink. Like, motherfuckers sound like a fucking Super Smash Assist trophy, my nigga. Isn't the priority at all when it comes down to making a last order. Previously known as a heavy drinker, Spankalink denied any special food to be prepared, but asked for a single flask of Jack Daniels instead, which he shared with the prison superintendent. After his death, the state of Florida's last meal provisions was revised to exclude alcohol altogether, but to be honest, going out while drunk doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Number 15, Eileen Warnos. No, I remember this Eileen bitch. Warnos also requested a beverage before taking her last breath in 2002, but of a different kind. A single cup of black coffee was all she wanted. It may seem like this request was her way of saying, don't. Bitches can drink anything in the world, but you want to go ahead and drink some ass shit. I ain't going to cap. Black, I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's because I'm not a coffee person, my nigga. But like coffee's supposed to like get you up and get you energetic, bitch. It ain't nothing to be energetic about. 
And, and you definitely not getting up after that fucking gee to hit your neck. So I even think about I don't even know why you drink that. I had my morning coffee, but Warnos actually had far more. This looks like she eats sharks. In fact, she didn't believe she was going anywhere for long, as her notorious last words were, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June 6th. Cap. It's safe to say she still hasn't turned up yet. Number 14, Ricky Ray Rector. Ricky Ray Rector seemed to have some- Nigga, did he fucking murder his barber? Holy shit. You can see the, the indent of his barber fucking him up, bro. His barber gave him the all around the world. His barber gave him the fucking worst sky top shit I've ever seen in my life. Did he murder his fucking barber? Because if so, I understand, bro. I really get it. Similar motivations when it came to his last meal. Rector had ordered a tasty sounding meal consisting of steak, fried chicken, and cherry Kool-Aid. Come on, bro. There's no way. There's no way, right? Come on, nigga. You making the community look bad, bro. This there, there's no fucking way, bro. Fried chicken and Kool-Aid in tangent for the last meal is fucking insane, bro. You might as well add watermelon and make it a trifecta. Followed by a slice of pecan pie, but he left his dessert untouched. When asked why he changed his mind on the sweet treat, Rector simply said he was saving it for later. Whether this was intended as an ironic joke or a sinister hint that his return in the afterlife was imminent is entirely up to you. Number 13, Timothy McVeigh. What yeah, this motherfucker look easy to draw. ordered as his last hurrah might surprise man's ice you, cream? the seriousness of his crimes. All McVeigh wanted to eat before his execution in 2001 was two pints of mint chocolate chip. I think when we did this, uh, when we did last uh, meal request, I think I remember, remember this nigga doing mint ice cream. And I said it, if I do, if this is the same nigga who did that, um, I said it then, I'm gonna say it again, bro. This nigga is eating bad last eats, bro. He wanna, he, this nigga was trying to torture himself before he died. I ain't gonna cap out of all the ice cream if you chose mint ice cream, that's bad ways to go out. I ain't gonna hold. Ice cream. Though it's unclear whether one remained chilled as he guzzled down the first or simply melted into a puddle beside it. To be honest, W mint I swear some of y'all niggas don't like mint. Y'all just say W mint to antagonize me. I swear at least like almost all y'all niggas hate mint. Responsible for hundred and sixty eight innocent deaths, even wow. melted ice cream. One hundred and sixty eight, what the generous. fuck? Number twelve. David Leon Woods. Convicted murderer David Leon Woods spent a whopping 22 years on death row before he was put to death on May 4th, 2007 in Michigan, Indiana. When the daunting moment finally Dear put to death on May 4th, 2007 in Michigan, Indiana. Why do why do states do that? There's a place named Michigan. There's a it's Michigan, Indiana is a fucking thing. Why do y'all make like state names? cities and city name state why do why do niggas do that bro it's not the first time i seen some shit like that bro you be confusing everybody when the daunting moment finally came woods had a fairly simple request for his last meal he chose a standard pizza and an entire birthday cake both of which he shared with his family as Damn. it turns out his birthday was actually three months after his execution but hey beggars can't be choosers number 11 Thomas J. Grosso. Thomas up. J. Grosso was not the brightest of the bunch, and when Judgment Day came in 1995, his final meal request reflected his questionable life choices. He ordered a plethora of extravagant foods like two dozen the steamed clams. Dude was an Earl supervillain. He did the Oklahoma City bombings and packed up almost 200 people. Damn, that's actually that's why he said he killed like 168 people. But that's actually insane. Half a dozen barbecued ribs, a Burger King double cheeseburger, and two strawberry milkshakes alongside a can of SpaghettiOs to be served at room temperature. When Grosso's meal arrived, he was served spaghetti and meatballs instead, a mistake he'd never forgive, as his final words were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Number 10, Stephen Wayne Anderson. Y'all think he did it, bruh? Y'all think he did it? Y'all think he did it? This nigga look like Post Malone in a dark timeline, bro. Like, y'all think, y'all think, uh, bro did it? Grasso isn't the only one to throw a seemingly random ingredient into the mix when concocting the perfect final meal. Stephen Wayne Anderson was a pretty deadly criminal, but his food choices were interesting, to say the least. Before his execution in California in 2002, the 48-year-old requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, mm. a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mixture, peach pie and chocolate chip ice cream, and... Well, a big helping of radishes on the side. Damn, this motherfucker's taste palette was fucking disgusting. You was cooking with the grilled cheese, and then you just went ass for ass for fucking, like, this nigga just, I ain't gonna count. This nigga, is, like, eats his fucking horrible, my nigga. 
Number nine, Peter J. Miniel. Convicted killer Peter J. Miniel could give Russell Brewer a run for his money for one of the biggest orders ever served on death row in 2004. Miniel confessed to his crimes and was vocal about being ready to pay the price, but not before he gorged himself on this whopping order. He requested 20 beef tacos, Damn. 20 beef enchiladas, Damn. two double cheeseburgers, Damn. pizza with jalapenos, Damn. fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, and a modest dessert of half a chocolate. That nigga damn well knows he didn't finish that. I know some of y'all got like some crazy, crazy, like, you know what I'm saying, food tolerance and shit like that, but there's no way bro finished even like all of this. Click cake. Half a vanilla cake. Nigga need must have invited queso cream, into the cell. Caramel pecan Holy fudge shit. Ice cream, and a small fruit cake. There's no way he finished this. He also had two lots of Coke, Pepsi, yeah. root beer, and orange juice. Like, this shit should not be allowed, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. If this is what y'all doing in prison, nigga, I might have to go, bro, just to fucking get all this food, bro. Maybe he intended to explode. But he don't do it anymore, though. Before facing the music. Number eight. Velma Barfield. Bitch named this Velma. This sweet, God-fearing grandmother became known as the Death Row Granny. Velma Barfield was the first woman put to death in the U.S. in 22 years when she was executed by lethal injection in 1982, but not before she was granted one final meal. A cup of tea, a slice of coffee cake, or a fruit scone might be what you'd expect, but all Barfield really wanted was a packet of cheese doodles and a can of Coke. But for a devout That's Christian it. old lady who also killed six people, what can you really expect? Number 7. Damn. Robert Alton Harris. Damn, this nigga look fucked up. Yo. Ordering your final meal on death row, it's important to cover all bases. And why agonize over which takeaway to get when you can combine the lot? This is exactly what murderer Robert Alton Harris did in 1992 when he requested a 21-piece bucket of KFC and two large Domino's pizzas alongside a six-pack of Pepsi with ice six cream pack? and a bag of jelly beans for dessert. And a packet of Camel cigarettes for good measure. He be getting these things anything. For his final words, though, which were, You can be a king or a street sweeper. But everybody dances with the Grim Reaper. Bro, he put that in a song. for a seasoned criminal, don't you think? Drake won't take the six, lyrics. Ronnie Lee Gardner. Plenty of death row criminals have used their final meal as an opportunity to make smart choices. And Ronnie Lee Gardner was certainly determined to make his sitting last. Was that kind of fire, though, bro? For six, this is with the Grim Reaper, which were, you can be a king or a street sweeper. But everybody dances with the Grim Reaper. Ah. Uh. Wow, deputy, deputy. Yeah. Ooh, big head on the beat. This Chicago, nigga. Metro. Huh. You can be a king or a street sweeper. But everybody fucks my ass when it. Hold on, what was the shit? Okay, hold on. That was the wrong. Okay. Anyways, keep me going. Reaper. Tanner. Plenty of death row criminals have used their final meal as an opportunity to make smart choices, and Ronnie Lee Gardner was certainly determined to make his sitting last as long as possible. He didn't go too overboard on his order of steak, lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and a 7 up. But he also had another request. Then seven up, fell off. Watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy while eating. Surprisingly, Gardner was permitted to do so, and with a combined runtime of more than 11 hours, this must have been the longest last meal ever. Number five, Philip Workman. Gluttony was the last thing on Philip's mind when he requested his final meal. His final request was for a large vegetarian pizza to be given to a random homeless person. But prison officials refused to do so, Damn. and he ate nothing. In a surprising turnout, on the day of his death on May 9th, homeless shelters in Tennessee received large amounts really? of vegetarian That's pizzas crazy. from people all over the country. So at least he did one good deed before his death. Number 4. Angel Nieves Diaz Philip Workman may have gone hungry because of his strangely selfless request, but Angel Nieves Diaz deliberately turned down his last meal. As he didn't order anything special, Diaz was served the regular Wednesday prison menu of shredded turkey with taco seasoning, cheese, rice, oh, he got, beans, this tortilla shells, apple crisp, Damn, and Damn, it's rye on the screen? What the fuck? Yo, I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. 
If my last meal was school lunch, I ain't going to cap, bro. I'd take myself out before they even got a chance to execute me in GTA, bro. Because it's just, like, at that point, bro, you at the school, basically school lunch. Well, actually, pr prison food's probably, like, a little bit better than school lunch. Now that I'm really thinking about it, bro. Probably, yeah, never mind. Prison food's probably better than school lunch, like, if I'm keeping it stacked. Presently, nice as that sounds, Diaz refused to eat that, too. And in his final words, he condemned the death penalty as a... Stratus, what's good, though, man? How you feeling? But also a cowardly act by humans. Number 3. Oba Chandler For his last meal, he ordered two salami sandwiches on white bread with mustard and peanut butter, and a grape jelly sandwich on white bread with iced tea and a coffee. And with all that bread, it's safe to say, another one bites the crust. But I drew that one guy you said that looks easy to draw. That nigga is easy to draw. That is a one of one. Damn, bro! You made, bro, a skinhead, bro. Like, this is a 101 fucking drawing, bro. That's tough. I don't see no difference, to be honest. This is W drawing, bro. But with all that bread, it's safe to say. Another one bites the crust. But it's. Shirt link on screen and in the description if you feel the need to expose the world to more crummy puns. Number two, Robert Dale Conklin. Conklin Nigga, clearly had shit. expensive taste as he requested filet mignon wrapped in bacon, deveined shrimp sautéed in garlic butter with lemon, baked potato with sour cream, chives, and real bacon bits, corn on the cob, asparagus with hollandaise sauce, French bread with butter, goat cheese, cantaloupe, vanilla bean ice goat cream, cheese. and iced tea. Number one, James Edward Smith. This convicted felon had one of the most bizarre last meal requests ever recorded. When it came down to his final meal request in 1990, all he wanted was a lump of soil. Yeah, this nigga's a fucking freak. I'm not even gonna cap to you, bro. This nigga looked like he created AIDS. I, I, I just don't understand this bullshit, bro. Why would you... Why would you do this? This shit just don't make no sense to me, bro. Came down to his final meal request in 1990. All he wanted was a lump of soil. Although some have speculated he that? that he did indeed intend to chow down on the dirt, others have suggested he planned to perform a voodoo ritual bro, as the soil was specified to be the Rekunda type associated with witchcraft. As dirt was not on the list of foods permitted by prison regulation, Smith's request was denied, and he was served a cup of yogurt instead. And he was sick. Which, of course, is the only reasonable alternative. So, what would you... That was a good fucking video, I'm not even gonna lie. Actually, I like that video, bro. Plugs, don't touch those plugs. I need, I need those. I need those. I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. Hey, if you watch this on the tube, let me know which your uh, meal, your last meal will be if you was on death row. I'm not even gonna cap. I don't know what I would eat, bro, but definitely wouldn't be like none of that last bullshit that we've seen. I ain't gonna cap it. Also, join the strains, Twitch Blue Rod, in the description. We are live every single day. Trust. We are live every single day. But, yeah. Uh, all right, BBG. All right. All right, man. Let's call it a night, bro. Let's call it a night. That's the last video for tonight. Let's go ahead and call it a night, bro. Uh, so like I said, I'll probably end up seeing y'all boys again on Sunday. Thank y'all for coming through to the stream. I'm glad that I was able to get this fucking stream in for y'all, even though it was a late night stream. But thank y'all for still coming. It's always, like, super fire when, like, I can, like, spark up a late night and the niggas will still come and still be deep in the chat and shit like that. So thank y'all, bro. Or thank you for that sub. I'll see y'all boys probably Sunday night. So, um, y'all be easy, man. Reddit is on Sunday night. So we'll check that. Uh, we might do a short Twitter community because we did only looked at it once this week, but we might not. Uh, but I might. Let's go uh, see what happens on Sunday. Uh, Suno AI, Ox, I want to do it on Sunday. So we'll probably do that on Sunday as well. So keep that in mind. But yeah, love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of y'all night. I'm going to see y'all boys on Sunday night. Y'all have a great one. Love y'all boys. Um, I see that fucking... That nigga... Cloud is live, so we gonna raid him, bro. We gonna raid him. I'll see y'all boys later. Thank y'all for the W stream. My head hurts like shit. I'm hungry as fuck. I forgot I did eat. If you haven't joined the Discord, explanation Discord. A lot of events are coming soon. You don't wanna miss them, bitches.